Whiskey Tube. What's up, everybody? Happy Monday night. Good to see everybody here. Um, uh, okay. This looks like, uh, there we go. Okay. My Wi Fi was acting up there for a minute. Uh, how's everybody doing tonight, man? Good to, good to see you guys again Monday night. Um, I think some of the, uh, well, I, I think Vic might be running a little late tonight, so I might have to push the time back a little bit. Um, so if, uh, if, uh, if anybody wants to hop on, you guys are more than welcome. I did pin the, um, the link up to the chat. Uh, like I say, it's probably going to be a little bit until, uh, until those guys can hop on, um, probably around that like nine 15, nine 30. So we still got about an hour and a half till they start. I'll make it a quick round. Um, won't, won't drag it on as long. So it's, you know, so it gets done fairly quick. So, um, still got a little bit of time guys. So if, if anybody wants to hop on here and kind of just shoot the shit, you're more than welcome to join. Haven't poured myself anything yet. So, um, so I gotta, gotta figure that part out too. Um, Say hi to a couple people here. Got some people rolling in. Uh, EJ says aloha and cheers. Cheers, my friend. Good to see you. Uh, top dog in the house. Who's one of our contestants tonight? Speaking of which, just topped on the screen. What's up, bud? Not much. How we doing? Good, man. How are you? Good, thanks. There we go. Now I can see chat. Good to see you, man. Uh, hopefully, hopefully Lance is good to go. He had to, he didn't uh, <clears throat> respond back to me yet. So, well, I know he's a big basketball fan. Yeah, yeah. He said he'll make it. Uh, he'll make it work. So I, I just told him it'll. Uh, um, uh, I, it'll be it'll be a quick round. I won't drag it on as long. So. Oh, thank you very <laughs> much for the popcorn peanuts. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I gotta gotta make that thing full so they can't uh, can't figure all that stuff out, man. Um, well, it came uh, post office again. That's so weird. Yup. Huh. All right. U.S. post office again. Uh, Roy Ardos cocktails. Cheers, buddy. Good to see you, Tim Cornet in the house. Cheers, man. Good to see you, uh, Jay Sells, Boston. What is up, brother? I'm gonna try to plan a trip to the Northeast and go see uh, go see John and. Um, uh, Shauna and uh, hopefully Darrell. Mark B in the house. Mark, cheers, buddy. Good to see you. I figured out uh, the sample I owe you, so I'll be getting them out. I'm trying to get them out tomorrow if I can. Um, I'm getting getting a little little strapped for time, man. Work has been crazy, and then on top of that, I gotta I gotta get ready for this trip on uh, on Thursday. Don't get back until Sunday. So, um, well, don't get back until Monday, really. Um, so. I'm going right right back into this tournament here, so I will I'll try to get your sample out, Mark. It's the um, it's the the four roses. Um, I owe you, unless there's something else that you want. J Cell says set up a poll: pickles or olives. <laughs> I think I got a little bit. Of, I don't think I have any pickles left. I got some olives in the uh, in the fridge there. Peter B in the house. Cheers, buddy. Good to see you. Tater Dom says cheers, Dan and Peoples. Happy Monday. Cheers, Tater. Good to see you, man. Eric Gunderson, good to see you as well, my friend. Thank you for stopping in. Gandy Road is in the house. What's up, man? Good to see you. S.A. Walker's here. Cheers. Good to see you. Who else we got here? For some reason, this mouse is not working right. There we go. All right. Um, Cheech Artelino, cheers, bro. Hope, uh, hope all is well with you. I need to try to connect with you here at some point. Um, if I can, maybe when, maybe once I get back, uh, maybe once I get back from the trip to Indiana, I'll, I'll try to try to link up with you, reach out to you. Uh, Major Zero, cheers, bud. Good to see you, Jeffrey Wack, who I will be seeing uh, just two days, right? Three days, three days, three days. I'll be seeing uh, be seeing the Wack. So looking forward to that. Uh, ben Dramon in the house. What's going on, man? Good to see you. Northwest Bourbon in the house. What's going on, brother? Good to see you, man. Uh, Top Dog, Sugar Kitty. Cheers. Uh, <laughs> that guy is whack. Um, oh, did I miss JG? Where'd JG go? Oh, there he is. Whiskey Cheers, JG. 
Cheers, brother. Good to see you. <clears throat> There's EJ again. Says aloha and cheers. What's in everybody's glass tonight, guys? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, just left the client's house. We cracked a bottle uh, of that last. Oh, nice, John. One of my, nice. That, that was my very first store pick. What's that, the last Monarch? No, this is Wheeler's Raid. Oh. That I did. Nice. That was the first one you ever did? That's the first barrel pick I ever did. Nice. Uh, whiskey uncensored in the house. Cheers, man. Good to see you. Lance, cheers, buddy. Um, I'll be having some stuff out your way here very shortly. Um, sending it to you direct. So um, stay tuned for that there, Lance. Um, the Adam Shelton is in the house. Cheers, buddy. Good to see you. Been seeing you here as well. Um, uh, Burben, that's right. I forgot to text you back, buddy. Um, but yes, I, I'll get I'll get back to you on that. Just got home, nothing yet. Soon, probably Frey Ranch Cash Strength. Very nice. Drinking ECB PC920 tonight, light day. <laughs> yeah, a little light, a little light. I haven't even started anything yet. Whiskey nose in the house. Cheers, man. Staying at the Eagle Bardstown, uh, Burbank. If anybody's near him, go visit him. He's a gem. The guy's a gem. Um, Casey Jones store pick. Speaking of Casey Jones, I just dropped a video from Casey Jones uh, today. I had to wear the glasses, man. I had to put the the glasses on, and uh, you know they sent them to me. I figured I had to had to wear them at least in the beginning of it. So. Um, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, don't need to talk to me. <laughs> uh, whatever, man. I got gotcha. you. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't ignoring you, man. Um, Callie Drams. What's up, Jake? Good to see you, buddy. So we survived the eclipse. <laughs> yes, we did. Yes, we did. I was going to wear a tinfoil hat too during that review. And I was like, yeah, you know what? <clears throat> the glasses are enough. Um, Again, surprisingly, the, the the Casey Jones bourbon, it's it tastes older than what it really is. I mean, for at 2.6 years, that, that really surprised me. Um with, with how how it definitely tastes like it was like a four years old, maybe four and a half years old, right around there. Pretty good. Um uh, Tom Shanley in the house. Tom, I got a sample coming out to you as well, my friend. Should be going out tomorrow. Uh, drinking a little Bib and Tucker double char six year. Okay. I don't, know, I don't know if I ever had the six year. Uh, watching UConn playing there uh, for their six natty superstitions. Don't drink big games. <laughs> Maybe after game. That's funny. Um, yeah, what am I going to pour now? I got 37 in the chat. Uh, again, guys, tonight's, uh, tonight's uh, bracket round is going to be running a little behind. Um, got... Um, you know, Vic and Jigs out on the West Coast, uh, and then we have uh, Top Dog here and uh, and Lance from Whiskey Tornado. We'll be uh, we'll be joining in a little bit later. Um, then we have one more matchup until we head into the corner finals, and that's going to be uh, two ten ninety going up against um, I think Bad Axe and uh, Whiskey Wars, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe uh, Dirty RC Bar. One of the one of the three. Um, Yes, JG, it is your 29th anniversary today. Happy anniversary to you and Chris. The cheers to that. I mean, let me let me pour to that. 29 years. It's a long time. Let me pour a little something to that. I'm gonna pour a little bit of this four gate Kelvin collab too. Cheers to that, man. Cheers. All right. Cheers, everybody in chat. Happy anniversary, JG, Krista. Cheers, guys. John, you got a uh, you got a starter pour? Yes, I got the Wheeler Raid. Okay. Oh, you are starting with that. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, Northwest Burger says I just hit the like button. You should too. Appreciate that, Mark. Thank you. Uh, my Casey is a three-year, four-month, and a two-barrel blend. Not that impressed for the price. Yeah, they're so again. A lot of their stuff that, as far as I know, is is very young. Um, I don't know what the price. I don't even know what the price of that stuff is. Um, this is only two point six years. Again, it's you know, I mean, in, in the review, it's you definitely still get that grain. Um, I don't think I don't think you can really hide that um, at two point six years, but it definitely tastes a little bit older than than what it is. 
Uh, it's not super grain forward. It's not like that hidden barn. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's, that's different, but, um, but yeah, I don't know how much those bottles retail for. So I'm not, I'm not too, not too sure what the, what the price of them, uh, what they run. Uh, Ooh, Kelvin. Said, yeah. I don't have that much left. Maybe, maybe four ounces, if that, and not too much. This is a, this is a really good bottle, man. I love, I love this one. This is when I was finishing cognac and rum. Really, really good. 126.4 proof. Starting out light, right, Sugar Kitty? Starting out light. Mine was 59.9. Oof. Yeah, I, yeah, I, that's that's a little steep. Um, tastes no younger than 2.876. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely it's definitely young. Um, it's just. It's not as grain forward as I thought it was going to be at 2.6 years old. Um, I literally thought it was just going to be just straight, straight grains, but there's definitely, um, there's definitely some flavor to it for sure. So, but 60 bucks, eek, that's a hard sell right there, man. <clears throat> I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay any more than like <laughs> 20, 20 bucks for that. Maybe. Um, yeah. It's just not, it's just, it's not, it's not there yet. It's good for what it is at, at that age, um, but I wouldn't pay that for it. Um, what's going to say? Cheers, Ben. John, did, uh, is, is Renee, is she in town tonight or no? Renee is in town. She's packing right now. Oh, get ready, get ready to leave. <laughs> We're getting up at 345 to get her to, to leave by 4 a.m. to get her to the airport. Oh man, are you going to or are you staying? I'm staying. This week she's in Chicago. Next week she'll she'll start off in Arkansas, and then from Arkansas head straight to Sweden. Oh my goodness! Yeah, man. What then are you? She, what are... Then, then the week after that, she told me where she's going, but I forgot already. <laughs> uh, I say, Walter says, Walter, you want to want us better? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's that. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, one one crushes that, and it's uh, well. I guess depending on the size bottle, it's it's cheaper too, way cheaper. So, absolutely, this I'd buy that all day over the the Casey Jones stuff. But again, I mean, I you know they sent it to me to review, so um, but I didn't know it was sixty dollars. That's that's pretty crazy. That's expensive. Uh, Mister Great Shot is in the house. Cheers, man. Good to see you. Again, guys, if anybody wants to hop on before this uh, this thing starts, we got over an hour, a little over an hour um, before this thing starts. So, Sand Deep should be getting your stuff out there too, buddy. Uh, from Hay Seed to Hay Swede. <laughs> yeah. Again, it gets it's grainy. It's grainy. You know what, though? I mean, there's there's been stuff that I've tried that's – six seven years old maybe even a little older that you still get a little bit of grain on there too you know most of the time i mean once you get something that's kind of higher the higher age it kind of masks that graininess but from time to time you definitely take a sip of something and you, you get it man this is such a killer pour. i wish i could find another one of these number twos man mm, that's good <clears throat> christ john i got freaking a <clears throat> hundred, uh, a hundred samples coming to me from the Ascot Awards, man. That's gonna be crazy. Wow. Yeah, that's that's double what they sent last time. So but you can't can't wait to do that. Uh, well, I, I'm only given so many days. I only have 20 days to do it all, and it's gonna it's gonna arrive while I'm in Indiana. So I'm losing losing some of those days. But that's a lot of homework. That is a lot of homework. I agree. Um, it's going to be fun. It's just a lot. It's a lot to get through. So, um, that was an Arkansas. That's a Sweden joke. <laughs> um, cheers. I'm team top dog says Renee Pete. I would hope so. Renee. I would, you don't know about that. I, would. <laughs> I would hope so. Oh goodness. If you want to keep all that, uh, that Jack Daniels, so John doesn't drink it. There's none in here. <laughs> I don't see anything. Nope. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, 
Yeah, man, I'm excited. So Thursday, uh, we, we go down and gonna gonna pick two barrels of uh, uh, backbone. So definitely excited. Definitely excited for that. Gonna, gonna I love bring, backbone. Yeah, yep. Gonna bring two two barrels back for you guys. So we got um, got Adam Shelton joining me. The Turks are going down. Um, all three of the Hello Again Whiskey friends, gentlemen. And then uh, Chris from Bourbon of the Week and his uh, brother-in-law. Or, um, nice. Yep, so we're all going down. It's going to kind of be like a, a, a three-way, you know, three-way pick. So um, especially with two barrels, um, that's yep. a, kind of a lot to get through. So um, we're going to bring home uh, two, two really good barrels um, for, for the group here, guys. So really excited. And, you know, I was talking with Ben um, – you know, he, you know, he said that basically you're, you're in for a, a, a long haul of drinking when you go down to the backbone. So yeah, that's what Shane was telling <clears> me also. Yeah. It's not one of those things where it's like, you got an hour, you know, a little time slot. It's like you, you, you do, you do yeah. your pick, you take your time, you drink and drink and drink. So um, I have a feeling we're going to taste through a ton of stuff um, and we're going to, we're going to bring back two of the, the best barrels that we can find. I promise you that. So awesome. whether they're finished or not, not sure. I, I think it's really whatever's the, the best thing the best. that we try, you know, as, as a group. Um, so definitely yeah. looking forward to that. Me and Renee did a blue note pick on Monday. Nice. It, was, it, was, it wasn't there. It was just, you know, they sent the four samples out. And then me, her, and Jake went through them, and we picked the one. Again, I got voted out. The one Man. I wanted. Those two, you know, were aligned again and. That's the barrel they're going with. Yeah. Uh, Mark B says, man, I wish I can crash that uh, indie trip. I am from the Hoosier State. Mark, how, how close are you? I mean, we're there. I'd love to try to get like a bottle, a bottle share, you know, set up. And if anybody's, you know, close or local to, to meet up. So, um, yeah, I, I'd be, I'd be down for that. I don't know if I know looking at the weather, it's not going to be great. Um, when I looked at it, Earlier last week, it looked beautiful, but then it looked like some rain is moving in uh, that way. So, <clears throat> not sure what that's going to look like. But either way, we're going to be inside drinking and picking barrels. So, I'm super pumped for that. I know Ben just uh, Ben and uh, his his buddy's group just picked three three barrels. So, <clears throat> I know he drank up a lot of a lot of that good stuff. I told him to, I told him to save me some some good stuff, man. <clears throat> so. <laughs> Uh, Travis Ropes and cheers. Good evening, everyone. Good to see you, buddy. Cheers, Travis. Yeah, 41 in chat again, guys. I, I do apologize. We are running a little behind, so got about an hour to sit here and kind of shoot the shit. So there's Eric Gunderson drinking some good ones right now. Yep, says so sipping some uh half field co batch too. I should, I think, uh, do I have that in there? No, I do not. Oh, uh, no. Oh, I do have that Knob Creek, though. I might sip on that Knob Creek, man. That Knob Creek is good, John. The batch two is 114.6. 114.6. Mash bill 62 corn, 19% rye, 19% malted barley. Nice. Mark B., are you a Purdue fan? Evan Day is in the house. What's up, brother? Good to see you, man. The Evan Day is in the house. Good to see you, bud. T Rob's in the house. What's going on, man? Um, whoops, there we go. All right, uh -huh. this mouse is being funky here. No, the batteries are good. There we go. Okay, that's awesome, man. All right, I'm gonna move on to the next pour here. I don't know what we're gonna drink, but. Actually, I do know what we're going to drink. We're going to pour a little bit. I'm going to stick with the... Well, we'll go with the Nashville Barrel. We're going to go with the, the Cherry Dr. Pepper Rye. This was really good, man. I uh, <clears throat> It's funny. When I was trying stuff out for Blend Again last year, um, I tried just mixing a very little bit of this in. And this is so dominant with that cherry note 
this rye. Um, you, I couldn't even blend it in a in a blend without it being like super cherry forward. So, a ton of air has gotten to this one though. I might have to move it to a smaller bottle. You have that one, John? The cherry Dr Pepper? No, I do not. No. Yeah, nine years old. Uh, one hundred four point one two proof. Feels weird going from one of these stem glasses to the freaking Glen Karen. I was researching those stem glasses. I don't know if I'm going to go with them though. Yeah, the Gopitas. Yeah. I I I like them to be honest with you, man. I think uh, I mean they're a little more more of a tulip shape than the Glen. Um, I I get a much better nose off of that than I do uh, just a, a normal Glen. And they're a lot cheaper. Yeah, than the Glen. Yeah, they're a little more brittle, though. I will say that, especially yeah. around, you know, having that stem and that lower base piece. Um, these glens on the bottoms are super heavy, you know what I mean? They're, they're a little, little more durable. You drop that thing on carpet, it's broken, so. I love the Turks glens, but I haven't found out where they uh, source them from. These these are perfect. Yeah these ones yep and they're the perfect size too yeah they're more of that tulip shape you know what i mean yeah <clears throat> so i just gotta find where they got them from um i mean I, i'm pretty oh do i have one of their glasses here i'm pretty sure that's that's a copita if i'm not mistaken but look at how small it is though yeah yeah it's definitely a smaller uh smaller glen or copita but uh, whoops, sorry guys. Uh, cherry Dr. Pepper sounds delicious. <laughs> That's actually, it's, it's a really good pick. It's still, it's still, even with air, um, super cherry forward on the nose and the palate. Uh, Greg McDonald says, I do declare, uh, is that a bottle or two of the 2020 Jack Daniels special edition rye? I see over top dog shoulder. Top dog. Is that a, is that a bottle of the Jack Daniels special edition rye? Uh, there might be a couple up there. A couple up there. Just a couple. <laughs> uh, EJ says, have you seen the new glasses from Randy um, at Bourbon Real Talk? Supposed to be designed for higher proof bourbon nosing. I have not. I, and have I, not think, I think Greg knows how many bottles are up there. I don't know why he's asking. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, EJ, I haven't, I haven't seen that. Uh, I haven't seen that, but I'll have to check that out. On Bourbon Real Talk. Okay. Um, this is, I love brandy glasses for high proof whiskey. Takes the edge off and get deeper without uh, ethanol punch. Hell yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I like the more tulip shaped is, is because of that reason. Um, I mean, with these, it, with, with the Capitas, you still get, uh, you still get a lot of that, uh, that, that ethanol. It's not completely like muted. Um, but I, I definitely prefer that over, um, a, a Glenn for sure. But, uh, EJ, I agree with you and seen them. We Karen says sugar kitty, <laughs> not those. He has more of the tulip shape. Those are my Jack says Renee. <laughs> now she's getting on you, John. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. That is so cherry forward, man. That's wild. I might have to give away a couple samples of this tonight. <clears throat> I, I did, guys, want to thank you all for, for the donations from last stream. Um, I'll be getting Darrell that, um, those funds uh, when I get over to Indiana. So I'm going to give it to him in cash. And um, But thank you all for that. That was, that was awesome and extremely generous of all you guys. Um, got a lot of the samples out to, to you guys. Still have a little bit, little bit more to get out. Got some samples to get out to next round's contestants too, so it's going to be a, a big, uh, uh, a big, a big push. So, well, and, uh, I, Vic helped you out by getting tonight's samples out, right? Yes. Oh, so Vic did pick the samples for our drink for what we're drinking tonight. Oh no, 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 no! I Vic. knew it was rigged. I knew no, it was no, 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 Vic. So you're going up against Vic. Yeah, and he put he he sent out the samples. Now the truth is coming out. <laughs> I yep. knew that's what happened. No, no, I uh, 
Yeah. Um, Vic picked the samples. That Jigs, looks like his, uh, Jigs actually should be on tonight with him. So I, I was worried about him riding solo, but um, but yeah. Again, again, thank you guys all for uh, for the donations for for last week. So like I said, I'll be meeting up with Darrell um, in a couple of days. So be giving that to him. Speak of the devil, Darrell. Cheers, brother. Good to see you, Joe, the sample guy in the house as well. Cheers. Uh, Darrell says I second that. Uh, Y'all are far too generous. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, that was cool. Uh, since we're trying to kill some time, John, crack one of those Jack Daniels rides so we can all <laughs> watch Renee come in and bust your cap. <laughs> oh, goodness. No, you should have dared him. He's going to do it now. John Crane. No, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Renee, they're challenging me to open your eyes. Oh, she's, I, I can hear her all right. She's coming. Here she comes. <laughs> no footsteps yet. Mm. Just give me a proof, and I'll find it up there. <laughs> I know this guy uh, that has been collecting those bottles since I knew they came out. I, I can't even tell you how many he has. They're on, like, they're on racks and shelves. Like, all the different colored signatures yep. and all that. I mean, just, he has to have over 400, like. But the same with Renee. I mean, she got them all, but they're all open. If you notice, yeah. there's only a couple that are not open. Once they hit a certain point, that's when she shelves them. Yes. So I know. Oh, she's she's here. There she is. Hi, Renee. He's not allowed to touch those. those <laughs> all of them, every single one. <laughs> John, if Renee wants to grab a seat and hop on, she can. She's still packing, but she heard we were talking oh, okay. about her ride. So. All right. Like she says, they're all hers. Um, so, Burben says, 117 Whiskey Row Fire versus 2023 Birthday Bourbon. Which pour similar price? Um, I would go with uh, 117 Whiskey Row Fire. I never even tried it, and I would go with that. That's good. I mean, it's so it's so cherry forward though. So if you're not like one of those cherry fans, that cherry Dr Pepper would not be for you at all. Very cherry forward. It's good, but just very cherry forward. Uh, chocolate, chocolate starfish. <laughs> Let's get censored. <laughs> all right, let's move on to pour number three here. I don't know what we're gonna pour. I do have an old Carter Rye over here. Um, how about something else, though? Let me see what else we got. There's stuff all over the place over here, man. This is bad. I got to get that room built up. Um, I know I got to want to pull out that short barrel. Uh, I don't know where it is, though. Oh, there we go. Short barrel toasted. No, this is the uh, the Barrels for Hope short barrel. I haven't sipped on this one for a little while. I don't think I tried that one. I'll have to see if it's next door. Um, I can always get you a sample of this one. I forget how many bottles we had total, but this one came out to be 123.8 proof. Um. And then the, the founder's pick was pretty good too. I mean, I think I'm more of a fan of the uh, of the the short barrel. But whoops, sorry guys. Uh, I didn't get that short barrel. It says EJ. Is it just me or live is off? I don't think so. I think we're still live, right? Yeah. Renee Hope. heard us. It, Renee yeah, heard it, us. It, she it, came it, in the room. All right, yeah, shows were live still. Hopefully. If not, it's a two-man show. <laughs> That's it. Sandiva, if you can hear me, it might be it might be yours, maybe. Yeah, I'm, I, so it just so happens for for Barrels for Hope. So um 
So the same day I'm doing the backbone pick, they're going out and doing the four roses pick. <laughs> so we, uh, so we were able to apply for a four roses pick and got it first go around. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I'm not, I'm, I wasn't able to make it. So unfortunately I, I didn't want to change it either. You know what I mean? I didn't want to change the date. So that will be nice if that four roses. So stud, what's going on, man? Oh Sorry. yeah, John. I, I I agree completely. I'm see, but with those picks though, they're the, the only issue with those, like they're not part of our six picks per year. But right. the issue with those is there's it's gonna be very rare to to find a barrel that can satisfy the the all total members, you know. Right. So that's that's one of the issues with with that. But I mean, the fact that we were able to get one, you know, uh, was was great. Amazing. I'm sorry, guys. Are you Got talking about Barrels of Hope? Yeah. So, do you only get six releases a year? Well, that's yeah. So that's what you get. Um, you get six releases a year, but then there's also, um, like last year, you know, we had the um, we had the short barrel. Um, well, I think it's a minimum a minimum of six. If something happens, we could get seven, but yeah, like, like the four happen. gate, the four gate was last year too. I, I didn't get a four gate. Well, um, yeah, well, the four I, gate I, also I was, was nat national barrel pick because the four gate didn't yield enough bottles. Yeah. Okay. But, I, 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 I get it. I just, if the, if it was the bonus to have more bottles, I was like, it's still a good deal at six. You know what I mean? But it looks like they're guaranteeing you six. Yeah. And it's a tax write off. Yeah. And then, you know, for, for this year, um, you know, we did, um, so the four roses is kind of like a surprise bottle. Um, we're doing another Elijah Craig barrel proof. Uh, they just did a dark arts where they got two barrels. So was that other one was also an additional. A Westland? Was that uh, on there too? Was Westland I, on No, there? not, not to my knowledge. No, not, 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 maybe not yet, but so the dark arts, um, so we got two barrels, um, we have an Elijah Craig barrel proof. They're doing the four roses. Um, and then we have a Ben holiday that we're setting up for as well. Um, but then for the year end event this year, uh, we also are doing a starlight pick that's not included in the, in the six as well. Um, we were trying to get the Guinness book of world records to come out and do the, the largest barrel pick. Cause it's going to be a ton of people there. Um, we'll only be given, you know, a, a limited selection of barrels, obviously, um, but still, it's it's one of six that, or you know, it's not one of the six that you're you're given. So that's another yeah. bonus. So not only is it dark arts, um, but it's it's this. Uh, Dan, well, yeah. the largest the large largest barrel pick. You have the most amount of people could end up with a half a barrel. Yeah, <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be awesome. I uh, I tried that Mid Middle West Spirits the, their pick that Darrell brought over. That's the one West. I was thinking. That yeah. one is awesome. That like that like that moved the needle for me in life. You know, <laughs> that's was, a that's a good pick, man. It was special. So Dan, where you're located, right? You know, when someone knocks on your door to to deliver some DoorDash later tonight, you know, you know, are we pulling out a what, what caliber defense mechanism? Uh, n nothing, nothing tonight, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, my hands. No, just your hands. Yeah, hey, I'm bring, I'm, I got cap? some knives in there. I'm, I, I'm, I'm bringing with those. But yeah, that's that's so, about so, it. You know, so if somebody knocks on your door in the next two minutes, you're not going to freak out, right? I might. Okay. Well, I'm, you've been. How about knocking on that window? I might. Yeah. I got a window right here. I mean, I'd be able to see headlights coming up the. Oh, knock on the window. Yeah. Dan, Dan, you you've been warned. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to get a delivery here. <laughs> who, knows who knows that address, though? That's not the address that we mail everything to, is it? No, he might. He, he might. We, we might know the address here. I'm not, I don't know. You know, John, I thought you were going to comment it was, it was, on my shirt today. No, no. I saw the hat when I was driving in the car. <laughs> so, um. Well, Rest out for sure. it right now. Uh, Dan, I broke the short barrel during the stream Thursday. Uh, it just got better. Says so, oh, Cheers, JH. Good to see you, man. Baker drinks. Cheers, buddy. Good to see you. Still got your sample we're sending out. Great. Um, I think the bourbon engineer is looking in my window. 
<laughs> uh, Burbank says it was a bunch of BS. Uh, it's a tax write off if you beg for the paperwork. <laughs> uh, I got lucky and ended up with an eight year. Ooh, nice. I got, myself, I got myself a Blanton straight from the barrel yesterday. Did you really? I did. Nice. Yeah. Uh, EJ says they play for six, but then they had a short barrel plus the four gate. Uh, the whole purpose is to raise money for the chosen charities. Yeah. Um, John Cloud, cheers, buddy. Um, yeah, John, I know you got the Greenbrier coming out to you. John Cloud, you have the four gate coming out to you. Roger Randall's in the house. Cheers, man. Good to see you. Mike Brock, cheers. Cheers all. Uh, sipping on some Indiana Solar Eclipse Special Edition five-year MGP. Bought it by a small bottler in Bloomington, Indiana. 30 bucks. I figured it'd be worth a shot in the dark. Yeah. Don't Shoot. See, I, don't see a I shot in the dark when someone's walking up to your door, Dan. <laughs> God. I'll see, I'll, see the, I'll see the headlights pulling up in the driveway. Okay. Um, Dusty has two guns. His arm. <laughs> Pickle <laughs> delivery. <laughs> Deliver me some pickles. Um, <laughs> she was all in chat. Oh, God, that's funny. I do hear a car out front. Did, you didn't order something, <laughs> did you, John? I hear a car. Duck or answer the door. Huh? Duck or answer the door. <laughs> I, don't see, I didn't see them pull up in the driveway yet, though. Oh, my God. Um, I don't think anyway. I don't. I don't have the outside lights on. I don't see any headlights though. I don't know. I did hear a car though. It sounded like they pulled up up front, but maybe not. Now you got me thinking. Uh, top dog. I, 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 I would pause the stream and go knock. <laughs> no, no. Some someone's at your door, Dan. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Right now? Yeah. All right. John, is is Dan coming back? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> is he coming back? Who's going to – oh, so you're taking over the show. He didn't scream yet. <clears throat> No, I just I just sent Dan a snack. That was all. That's awesome. I did, I, did, I didn't want to I, did, I didn't want him to kill anybody, so we we warned him. That's hilarious. I didn't want anyone want to be exposed to the gun show. I don't, I don't see anybody here. Come on, man, you're messing with me. What? Which? Well, you didn't get a sent to my home address, did you? You're at three three zero nine, correct? No, that's a, that's a different address. Oh, you're messing with me. You can't <laughs> no. mess with me. <laughs> it's all right, it'll, it'll be there when I get home, whatever uh, it is. The boys will be eating it, though. <laughs> did, did, did you really send something there? I did. Oh, my God. This is the <laughs> I, told you Dan, I told you Dan he had the wrong – no one has that ad. Oh, my God. That is so funny. Come on, Dan. Damn you. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. I gotta text my my son really quick. <laughs> Ethan, if you're watching, this is on you. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's so funny. <laughs> John, yeah. What did you send over there? Nothing, you big deal. Oh god. <laughs> oh goodness, I'm way behind in chat. Holy crap. <laughs> um. Whoops. Uh. Whoa. I'm falling way behind. Uh, car drivers work too. <laughs> cheers, cheers, Keith. Good to see you, buddy. Tra did you order me a stripper? No. <laughs> Damn it. The boys uh, would have loved it. Singing whiskey, Graham. <laughs> no man. No, man. Nothing, no, no, nothing that extravagant. No. Nope. <laughs> it sounds like it's delivered to some other places, Sandy. Uh, John, you can have some inside info. <laughs> Dan, it's 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 something you can put in your mouth. Oh, damn it! The rest of it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Well, if you go home hungover tonight, you'll be fine. So, <laughs> do we have to? Is it something we? Uh, 
No, 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 no. And you can take it take it on your barrel pick. Yeah. Actually, it's like a comfort of home. Take it to your barrel pick. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Uh, it's a Chippendale dancer. <laughs> Roger says he's at the safe house, known as a yes. This I am at the safe house. <laughs> My son says it's pickle chips. <laughs> and there should be two items, damn it. Oh, God. He said, I can infuse the poor delivery guy. <laughs> How, what did I? This, this is the Turks' fault, I'm telling you. Oh, my God. This is funny. How are you blaming the Turks? Don't worry about it. It's true. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Hold on a second. He John, said, you have my address. I'm still looking at the door. Yeah, he, he said all he had was olives. So I was like, man, that, that doesn't sound like a fair night. So <laughs> oh my god, bro, you're too much. <laughs> Thank I, you. I, I failed, but either way, we'll okay. leave that for next week or your travels. You didn't I don't think you failed. I think that is still awesome. Oh, that that is awesome. So I, I, heard a, I, heard, I swear I heard a car like with an exhaust plot out, out like out front over here, and I was like, "Oh wait a second. I mean, yeah, I, I, still I, may I, be there. I he played was, it all right. I told him, you know, just be careful, and then I left the screen on purpose. You know, I did everything I could except the wrong address. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you for that, John. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. I'm gonna eat as soon as I get home. What did I pour? I poured something. Just press uh, last, rewind. <laughs> last check, it was four gate, but I don't know since. Oh, it was a short barrel. That's All right. right. <laughs> it was great and a good mystery. <laughs> uh, it's a lily punch <laughs> with a stripes and grubbin. <laughs> oh, shit. That was funny. There was a. Uh, whoops. Yep, down by the river. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, you, guys, like you, guys, you guys watch a lot of SNL? Uh, haven't in a while. Yeah, it's been a while. I yeah. I usually watch SNL during election years, so this would be the year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh. There's been there's been well I well it's hard to pick a it's hard to pick a group as my favorite, but. I, I like I like some of uh, like more recent recent I like like Kate McKinnon and uh, I, I actually love Kate McKinnon but that group as of late has probably been one of my favorites but um, yeah. obviously as you get into some of the you know the the earlier years um, those groups were they were great too so um, the Farleys and the Will Ferrells and you know. They're all they're all so good. There he oh, is. What's up, Vic? <clears throat> What's going on, brother? Um, I think Lance is. I think Lance said he's he's still good for like nine nine thirty, nine fifteen nine thirty. Um, <laughs> yeah. right. <laughs> oh, shit. You getting texts? Yes. Your son? <laughs> Lance said, "Come on, Vic." <laughs> oh, nice! That's a cool glass. That I like that. I'm drinking, uh, I'm drinking my horsey top tonight. Are you? You cracking it? I am cracking it. Why not? I only live once. I'm probably that's, not going to be a long life. So let's. You said that's straight from the barrel. It is. Yeah. It's uh, oh, shit. 133.6 proof. Nice. That's the good one. What's up, brother? Cheers, Cheers brothers. Up, How man? you doing, man? Yeah. Copper Wolf is in the house. Cheers, bro. Good to see you. I always found Dana Carvey uh, as Bush. Um, and later as Ross. Yeah, Ross Perot was hysterical. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, Dana Carvey was. Dana Carvey so Joe, good. Oh, you're not having a heart attack, are you? This thing just smells like grape when My you open it. first sip of the day, it felt like I was having a heart attack. I was like, what the okay. heck proof is this? Just checking on you. <laughs> what, are you what are you pouring there, Joe? What is that? Uh, it's, a, it's just a 10-year private barrel from uh, Total. 
Nice. Just so you know, I'm not rooting for this guy. He's just happened to be the Glenn I picked up. Why, thank you. <laughs> not rooting for him. Oh, wow. So I think I, I think it's going to be too late for me to send out samples to make it to those guys next week because uh, the only match we haven't done is some West Coasters. I don't think I'll – if I if I ship it tomorrow, I, it might get to them in time. I don't know. I know I've shipped – Vicks out on a Tuesday, and he wasn't there to get him, though. I don't know if it got to him in time. Um, it's hard. It's hard with the West Coast crew um, to get to get samples out. I think you have, you have to send him out on Monday to get him out there. Any uh, any giveaways? Any Anything tonight for Super Chats? Um, I, yeah, I mean, I could do some giveaways. I just didn't know, you know, I mean, after last week, Christ. Um. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm. If people are going to do super chats, I'm happy to do two ounces of this. Well, from, straight from the barrel. Sure, why not? Nice, man. What, what'd you say the proof was? One thirty. One thirty-three point six. Woo! <laughs> She's spicy. Here's John Clout. Yeah, man. There you go. Nice. I can't remember the proof point of the one I, one I had last. I want to say it was somewhere up in those those one thirties. Yeah, my buddy's the um, one that's like one one twenty eight, and, and he was like, "Oh, you got the one thirty? I'm like, uh, "Sure, I don't I have no idea." <laughs> it's, it smells awesome, though. Travis says, "Joe, how's the Audi?" Uh, just just got her up and running. I had to had to get something uh, done quick to it because I had to go up uh, north for uh, for a bit to go visit some family. So up and running, cool. Thank you for asking, though. Uh, to me, early SNL isn't Farley and Farrell. It's Chevy Chase. Yes, yeah, it's, it's Gerald Ford. Dia. Yep. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Way back machine. That, yeah, that's going way back. Yeah. Well, again, like, they, I just feel like they all had their own. Like it, it was just it was different. You know what I mean? It's also it's also different. That was great. Was that was that when they had uh, Gilda Radner? Or was that before that? I can't I can't remember who she, who she was with. Was that with Belushi? Uh, I can't remember if was was that uh essay was that with Gilda Radner and Belushi or was that was that before them? I can't remember. Um. Uh, yeah, we could do we could do some giveaways tonight, guys. What what do you guys what do you guys I, want? I just need you to all know that like that was really really good and that's straight yeah, from the barrel. Yeah, initially like the proof didn't hit me, and then it just started building, and then it's like oh here comes the uh the army just murdering people. It's so like. Oh my god! Oh, okay. All oh, that was the same cast. Cast one. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> it's real good. <laughs> What's up, bro? Rigged. What up? Yeah, Gilda Radner was good, man. But so was Belushi. That that original cast was was great. I couldn't remember Vic. who that was all with, but that was that was good. Good stuff. Vic, Vic thanks for supplying the samples for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Vic, do you know um do you know when the samples arrived? I sent them to you on Tuesday. I know Tuesday. you were there. Really? Yeah, they were delayed. Uh, yeah. Whoa, it took a whole week. Yeah. Uh -huh. See that that's that's why like so I have the samples for the next round, but it's not gonna be able to get to them in time, unfortunately. So I told you, bro, how to send them. Yeah, well that's yeah, that's true. Give it a that's try. Give it All a right, try yeah, I, I do have one of those boxes. I might have another one somewhere, Cheers, but I could buy one. Good call. Yeah, days, right? who's, in who's in California besides Vic? Um, you got Joe? Bad X, uh, Bad X Bourbon. <laughs> I uh, moved. Uh, Bad X, you got, uh, uh, I think, um, wow, well, what's his Joe moved, but the shelves are the same. Yeah, I mean, Vic, Vic, Vic's going to be out by the end of the night, so you don't have, there's one less you have to worry <laughs> Um. I forget, there's a couple West Coasters on here. I know Joe's in Cali. Um, Jake was in Cali. Vic's in Cali. Uh, Tater Dom. Yeah, Tater. Mark Northwest. Uh, yeah, Northwest, yeah, Northwest is out there. Oh yeah, Mark too. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. So there's yeah there's they've got a got a handful of West Coast. Um, wow. Baker um, drinks. Yeah, Baker drinks. That's right. Yeah. Drinks. That's who it was. They're out in, uh, <laughs> in the West Coast. Yeah. Um, Richie Z. Yep. Yeah, the Z. Uh, yep, Gilda was uh, with Belushi, Roy Chase. Yeah, that 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 was a that was a great cast, man. Old enough to remember, but not so old. <laughs> I forget. 
Oh man. So Vic, you already got so you're good to go, right? Yeah, I guess. Is is uh is Jigs, have you talked to him? Yeah, um we talked the other day on my live. Okay, so he's not uh he's not able to do it. He said he would come in and just knows him. But but I told him to don't worry about it. I'm like Okay. It is what all it right. is. I don't want him to get fucking worse. I got you. I spit them all up two weeks ago. Come on. You spit them all up. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Joe, uh, Joe, were you an SNL fan? Um, different times, different cats are funny. Um, Will Will Ferrell and Sherry Otera, Sherry Otera, I think her name is. Yeah, Sherry Otera, something like yeah. that. I thought I thought they were a funny uh, duo that they yeah. did all that cheerleading yeah. stuff together and all that. I like watching uh, like a lot of the behind the scenes. So, um, like during some of those. Uh, some of those episodes, man, it's just it, it's so it's so funny, like especially when they like when it's like the improv and they're just like making everything up like off the top of their head, and, like the other cast has no clue as to like what's going on. That's that's kind of stuff that I love. Yeah, a lot of the a lot of the episodes right now with the cast they got are it's 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 not really funny. Yeah, uh, no, I don't yeah. I don't I don't see all the um I just don't think it's as funny as it as it's it's been yeah. over the years. They so, they do they did a big turnaround on on the cast in the past year and a half, two years. So yeah, I mean I, I've always liked Kate McKinnon. I think she's she's great. Um, but anything anything like newer than that, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Kate McKinnon's funny. Yes, Kate McKinnon is definitely funny. Um. All right, sweet guys. So we're just waiting for Lance. Let me uh, let me text him real quick. I think the Turk should be hopping on at some point here soon. Um, who's the who's battling today? Um, it is Vic going up against um, Top Dog and Lance from Whiskey Tornado. Supposed to be uh, Vic and Jigs, but uh, Jigs is um, he's out at the moment, so not able to, to to join. Fifth quarter tailgate. Cheers, Scott. Good to see you, bud. Cheers, Hope everything Scott. is well. Keep getting better, man. Yep, day by day, buddy. That's it. All right, what are we gonna pour next here? What's everyone? Vic, what's your control pour? Mine. Yeah, besides my early role. times. Early times. E.T. Yeah. John, what about you? I got a MGP Wheeler's Raid. Wheeler's Raid? Can I see the label? Yeah, it's a Tennessee. Okay. Finishing up the gym as usual. Looking forward to this battle tonight, says Tim Robertson. Cheer, bud. Love to you, Rob. Um, right, let me get one more pour in here, and then we'll start to go a little slower. Um... We'll do the oh, we'll do some Okada. This bottle's getting low. I don't want to say bottle kill tonight, but it's too much. I was gonna say bottle kill at Okada equals bad day, bad tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, very bad tomorrow, and I gotta be up early tomorrow. So yeah, that's 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 a lot. Yeah, three forty-five for me. Okay, all right. I'll shut up now. You don't what is have it? To. <clears throat> <laughs> Vic already drank his samples. <laughs> uh, get Vic's out of here soon. Now to pay for the out of pocket costs of fifth quarter home. Damn. Uh, Wheeler's such a good company. Glad they're small. Uh, we share a bigger for their sake. Top dog. Is that a blind sample that was revealed as what is it? Crit Critibins? Critibins? Crittendens, cut above double O, get one hundred and twenty proof. So That's good, right. Crittendens. Huh. Uh, I did three last night on Livewire. Says Tim. We were getting set up. We'll be on in a few minutes. Um. Oops, somebody's on. It is the Drifting Drams. What's up, y'all? Cheers, man. What's up, Ethan? Cheers. Crittendens, got it. Okay. What up, Deke? What's up? What's up? Oh, great trips. Okay. Cool. Long time no see for you and Vic. Yeah. Forever. 
Yeah. Think you find you find some places out there you like? Yeah, we found a couple. Yeah. Sweet man. Go Hi, Joe. leave that West Coast life and go to that that <laughs> Midwest life. Yeah. Oh, cheap taxes. Yeah, low taxes in America. Like yeah. In America. Yeah. It seems like it's the only place where it's where it's left, man. You know. Actually, it's the only place where it's right, Dan. Well, that that too, that too. Ethan, you caught that, right? Yeah, I caught it. Okay. That too. Oh, mm. Yeah, we can do a giveaway tonight, guys. We don't have to do a big giveaway. We can do a giveaway tonight, though. I got a ton of samples to send out anyway, so. Um, should, I, should I do a two ounce sample or two one ounce samples of this, Dan? What do you want? Um, we can do two one ounce samples of that, John. That's fine. Okay. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, of course. Anything to support you. All right, guys. So we are going to do a giveaway tonight. Um, so we'll do we'll do two uh, one ounce samples of the Blanton's straight from the barrel. Fancy. Courtesy of Fancy. John. We will also do. I hope Vic wins. <laughs> we'll also do a sample. Of, After all that shit talking, <laughs> got you spend some money. It's fine. Of the uh, the old Al what Young D? Four Roses. What's up? I'm sorry. What was that, Dan? Um, we'll do two around the old Al Young Four Roses. Cheers, buddy. Um, what's up, Darrell? What's up? Um, we'll also do a sample of. You know what? You know what I got? I think I poured it into a 200 Big Vic, my, my fan yeah, club's do. coming on. Oh, yeah, I can tell. East Coast. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So this, however, this bottle is empty. This is the Pappy 15 here. It's empty. I poured it into a 200 milliliter. Um, so I'll do two samples of this as well. If All I right. win, if okay. I win can, I, can I have the empty bottle? Huh? If I win, can I get the empty bottle? <laughs> yes, you can get the empty bottle. If, if he does, if he doesn't win, I can make that a right. lamp for the next raffle. There you go. That's cool too. Okay, so we'll, we'll do yeah. two samples of the Pappy Fifteen as well, guys. Um, is that your, is that the Demon Child? Yeah. And my other one, up there, he's like <laughs> being attacked. I shouldn't have been on the couch. Hey, thank you. Uh, <laughs> hey, man, cheers, buddy. Thank you. Your package, uh, yes, your package just went out. Uh, yes, your package just went out. Um, oh, John, you already you already donated. <laughs> thank you, John. John, you got you're in it uh, for two, buddy. Thank you. Uh, Mark B with a twenty dollars super chest says, "Put me in." Rig. You are in, sir. You are in. Thank you. Darrell, Darrell, can you keep this? I, have, this I, have no idea. I didn't even click on that and it showed up. I have no idea. You didn't make it so much. Me. I did it for you, Dan. Can you, get them to say, can you get them to say rigged on screen, Darrell? Kira, Kira will say it. Kira. <laughs> That's so weird. John said, can you say rigged? Uh, always a great time hanging out. I love you. Can can hang hang rigged. Uh, cheers, man. Cheers, Travis. <laughs> Thank you for that, man. Much appreciated. I didn't click on it again. What's going on? That's so man, weird. Man, it's me. I'm Ethan Ethan and running it. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Can you say rigged? <laughs> That's accurately. You got goes, then. You got goes. Oh, well, wait a second, man. His first <laughs> words are rigged. <laughs> I actually said it too. Nice. It. Eric Gunderson with a twenty dollars super chat. Eric, thank you so much, my friend. You are in it to win it as you. well. Dad? You're too close. See. Mark B Dad. says ten for the baby bottle. <laughs> back up, back up, back up. You gotta be able to watch. So yeah, we'll do the. Um, well, the empty happy bottle is worth a couple hundred dollars. Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> so Darrell, we've officially smoked Dana. We know that you know the address he ships from is not the bunker. So. <laughs> Mark, thank you again uh, for the super chat. Man. Tom Shanley says he's in it to win it as well, guys. Tom Shanley with a. Ten dollars super chat. Thank you, Tom. Much appreciated, brother. Um, Chuck D. Cheers, man. Good to see you. Um, uh, what up, Katie? 
Hey, hey, how's it going? Here's Katie. Is that you? What? Good to see you, Katie Tark. Good to see you guys. Um, Dusty, I'll give uh, I'll give away a sample of the Middle West Spirits Five Year Oloroso Sherry Wheat Whiskey. Holy moly! Ooh. That's awesome, Eric. Thank you for that. So we'll do um, uh, so a sample from Eric G. <coughs> What's up, Eric? From the Middle West. That's awesome, Eric. Thank you so much, guys. So that's in it as well. Um, I, think it, I think it's time to do a bottle chug. Oh, boy. What? <laughs> I don't know. Somebody's now. waiting. Know. That's a lot, isn't it? Oh, I was going to say, no. geez. <laughs> no, it's my, it's my oh, yeah, Darrell. Family. Hold on. Darrell, I got to send this a lot. Really quick. That's the poor uh, man's happy. <laughs> It's a good chunk of whiskey. So who, are, who are we texting, Ethan? <coughs> uh, yes, if you yeah. can. Yeah, uh, yeah. Excuse me. Jesus. Uh, Darrell. Um, all right. Darrell, I'm sending you something here real quick from last stream. Okay. Texting it to you. Oh, shit. Uh, sorry. Yeah, if you can hear. Darrell, Darrell, Darrell. I know I just texted you at some point. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, Darrell, your built-in ascot is covering your neck. The the <laughs> built -in ascot. What about your bracelet? Why did it? Why did it? You still have some baby teeth down there. Don't, don't the like, like... There is the whiskey tornado. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, brother? Hey, Lance. Hey, Lance. Cheers, Lance. How's doing, everybody bro? doing tonight? Doing great, man. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you guys. I'm just wearing these samples. All right, I'm doing the same. Yeah, you guys can all pour your samples if you haven't already. So get them poured up. Um, Scott, yes, if you want to post that, you can, buddy. That's fine. Absolutely. Sorry, I missed that up there. Um, cheer. Uh, we're also going to do two more samples for tonight, guys. So we're going to do – I'll probably be down to like one ounce. But we'll do one more ounce of the 1914 Greenbrier. I know John won a sample of that, so I'll be sending that out to you. Um, and then we'll do a, a 1955 Kentucky Tavern bottle of bond. If I win a second one, I can actually share it with Darrell because he's yes. getting some. <laughs> what was the, the first of those samples, Dan? Did you dive into any of the samples I gave you? No. Who, who just said my name? I'm sorry. They, what, so it was the 55 Kentucky Tavern. What else? Yeah, 55 Kentucky Tavern bottle of bond, a 1914 Greenbrier. Okay, gotcha. Um, and then two samples of the Pappy 15 year. Yep. And then I got two straight from the Blanton samples from J Cells and then the Middle West from Eric G. Yes, and then I got two um, uh, of the old, the Four Roses, the old Al Young. Gotcha. I'll do two of those as well. Got it. Lance and Ethan, I just sent you two messages if you got them. We did. I got it. I got it, John. Yeah. Okay. Um, yep, I got it. Vicky, yeah, you got I got you. it too, Top Dog. <laughs> What's up? Uh, good evening, everyone. Just got back from having dinner uh, with Shell uh, Whiskey Central. Her husband there camping in my driveway tonight. Cheers on Cheers Slap Shot. Hey, hey bud. Thanks for stopping in. <clears throat> Cheers, Brian. All yeah. right. Thank you for um, so, Lance, you got your samples. Vicky, you got your did. samples. John, samples. You guys have them all poured? Mm -hmm. Sure do. Okay. Um, uh, John Durrell, I'm going to get this thing started here. Um, yeah, you can hop out. Yeah, yeah, you guys are more than welcome to, uh, to hop on after this thing is done, man. So, you got the, got the link on the top. Got you, buddy. Good hey, Durrell, before you go, I loved your review, man. On the uh, Middle West, that was good. Oh, dude, your barrel. There's probably going to be another review coming from one of your your barrels, and it's probably the number one whiskey I had so far this year. <laughs> I definitely yeah. agree with that. And there's probably not going to be much that tops it, in all honesty. And I haven't even tasted everything out there. So That's okay. awesome. <laughs> Silly. That's awesome. The first time I tasted it, I said the same thing. So yeah. so good. Dan, thank thank you for doing the giveaway. I can't wait to win some uh, some awesome whiskey. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> you got hop back on after if you're still up, man. We'll do. 
Bye, guys. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, John. Cheers, Cheers to Ralph. Cheers. Um, uh, Whiskey Central in the house. What's up, Shayla? Hey, I'm Shayla. How Shayla. are you? Good to see Cheers, you, Shayla. Shayla. Uh, 21090 is in the house. Cheers, man. Good to see you Cheers. as well. So, S.A. Walker with the final super chat. You were in it to win it as well. Sorry, I got to write these down, guys. All right. I'm, I'm tracking, Dan. You're Thank good, you, Ethan. God, you're, you're so good to me. I don't know. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, guys. So it's going to be two minutes on the clock, two minutes per question. There's going to be three. Nosing questions, three tasting questions, and then two bonus questions at the end. Uh, please make sure you guys right. save some of your whiskey for those bonus questions at the end because you will need it. Um, and if you can send all of your uh, answers to Katie and Ethan at Drifting Drams. Um, and if you guys haven't checked out the Drifting Dram site, please make sure you do. They are, uh, they are getting some delicious coffee sent out to homes near and far so please make sure uh you guys pay a visit to the drifting dreams page if you are a coffee lover i promise you will not regret it um whoops there we go okay hey john you want to send our answer to the turks like last time you're doing the same way yeah okay good. all right cool um and guys vic is riding solo tonight um uh, he part turned down renee able. Yeah, his, his partner was not able to uh, to join, so so Vic is is going against you guys solo. Did, did, so he turned down Renee. I told him he could have Renee tonight as a partner. He, <laughs> yeah. he, he definitely he wouldn't said, want that. He said she's an anchor. <laughs> wow! There you go, guys. <laughs> snap, snap that <laughs> clip right there. Whiskey Central says their coffee is the best thing I've ever tasted. Snap that clip right there. You awesome. heard it first. Vic, she's packing right now. She didn't hear it. I'm gonna put that uh that quote on our site. Yep, do definitely. It. Do it, hundred um, percent. Do it. Terrell gonna be in Rhode Island soon, says Shayla. All right, guys. So let's get into these questions. Good luck to you guys. Uh, we are gonna start with nosing round. Um, and the Turks are here to back me in case I uh I tell you something wrong. So, and to enter and to enter everything in. So they're not just here for that. They're here for their good looks. <laughs> Their charm, their, <laughs> coffee, their love, and to keep it on the rails, and to keep it on the rails. That's right. We we got to keep it on the rails going forward. Allegedly, you know what happens when I get too much in me. We start talking about some crazy stuff. So uh, they're here to shut it down in case that happens, which it won't. So all right, here we go, guys. For the nose, nosing round only on sample A. Um. I need you to tell me where this whiskey was distilled. Uh, what state was this whiskey distilled? I'm going to give you some options. Okay. It's going to be Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, or Texas. Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, Texas. On the nose, only two minutes on the clock. Your time begins now. Turks, I can't wait to see you guys. I'm so excited. Know, Again, it's crazy that it's like uh, it's, it's starting to start to be more consistent. It's like it's it's real now. I know. You know, I can't wait to see what uh, Backbone has to roll out. I mean, I was talking with Ben. I talked to him on my uh, my ride into into work, and um, he was saying like uh, it's it's nice because it's not one of those things that's rushed going there, right? It's uh, you have time and you have plenty of whiskey to taste and try. Uh, so that I'm looking forward to. I, I don't like being rushed. So, and you know, it's, it's open. So we, we can, we can try whatever we want, which is great. So definitely looking nice. forward to that. Yeah. I think we're going to, we're going to find some, we're going to find some good stuff. I know he picked, uh, they got three barrels. So wow. I, forget, I forget what everything was, but that's exciting. Yeah. I mean, can't go wrong with three barrels. No, one was, I think, finishing backstrap rum. Ooh. Um, one was a, I think, almost an eight-year MGP, I think he said. I can't remember exactly. Uh, and then something wow. else, too. So, guys got 30 seconds. 
30 seconds to get those answers in. Who's going to get it, right? Uh, let's go, Vic. We can meet up in the finals. And throw down says slap shot. Hey, Vic, did you get your um, – you got your four gate? It's in Vegas, buddy. Yeah. Oh, you haven't had it yet? No, no. I, I, I was going to stop by last weekend, and I couldn't. So I'm thinking of going next weekend. Tim Corny, what's going on, man? Hey, Tim, doing great. Slap Shots House just got back from dinner. All right, guys, that is time. Please submit your answers to the Turks. Um, it'll be good though. You know, you know, too. I haven't, I haven't actually met Kelsey in person yet. So, uh, uh Kelsey is yeah, great. Yeah, this will be the first time I get to meet Kelsey. I met met everybody else. Um, so I met everybody here on screen. Where are you meeting Kelsey at, Dan? Sorry, I, I was uh, backbone. So I'm doing backbone the same time you guys are doing the four roses. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, that'll be a great pick too. They, they yeah, have, you guys they are, have great you guys stuff. are uh, you guys are gonna find a, a a great barrel, man. Do you guys have Mandy? Do you know? Uh, I think so, but I, yeah. I'm not positive. I think yeah, so. Though. Mandy's Mandy's really cool. Yeah, she's great. Have you done a four roses pick, Lance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're awesome. Yes, they are. All right, guys, let's move on to sample B on the nose. Sample B on the nose. Um. Uh, okay, so uh, and that was for for so sorry guys. So for the first question, <laughs> three points. Um, and this one is also for three points on the nose. I need you to tell me if this whiskey is finished or not for three points. That's all I need you to do. Three points is this whiskey finished or not? On the nose only. Two minutes on the clock. Your time begins now. Uh, Kelsey's just all right. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know. He's usually busy on Mondays. So I, I know he doesn't usually pop in here, but I'm I'm uh, definitely excited to to meet him for sure. So, um, yeah, it'll be it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. I know the weather turned a little bit of rain, but hey, this is what it is. I mean, We're gonna be inside, so I'll yeah. Take Uh, Whiskey Central. Hey, Slapshot, can I get your Wi-Fi password? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. They got a camper, Shayla, I'm guessing. They converted a van. They converted a van. Really? Yeah, they were They're here drifting. last Tuesday, was it, Vic? They're yeah. drifting. They're drifting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they are. That's you cool, man. That'd be a cool sticker. They're drifting. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, you know what? That reminds me. Turks, I owe you guys some money. Holy crap. You should have sent me something. Oh, Same, hey. we're not we're not in a hurry for it. That's yeah, all right. I, I still I gotta send it over. Yeah. Um, whenever. That's I've had we know this. we know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like we won't see you in like another month or two, you know. That's true. That's very place. true. Uh we're drifting in a van, says Whiskey Central. <laughs> Best memories of having this community has been uh, indoors, so we'll be fine. Hell yeah, absolutely. Thirty seconds, guys. Did you guys, uh, did you guys have totality where you were at with the eclipse today? No, not here. Um, we had mine we wasn't had that partial, good. But, um, we had we, we had drove partial. to catch it. Oh, did you? Was it awesome? Yeah. It it was. It was really freaking cool. Um, where, we were where'd you just go? North of, um, just north of Carbondale, Illinois, oh, and uh, Carterville. Okay, that's right where I grew up. Oh, that wow. Time, okay. guys. Yeah. Time. Um, over at Walker's Bluff. Yeah, they're a harvest host, so we went oh, over there for the night. Yep, yep. It was it was really cool, really cool. But it's worse than a full moon as far as people driving. Oh Jesus. Oh <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. When it when the eclipse happened there like seven years ago or 2017, whatever it was. It was it was nuts. The three hour drive took like five or five and a half. Yeah. yeah. I saw I saw some uh, some pictures of gas stations with Tesla chargers and they were in two lines just wrapped three times around the gas station because everybody's wow. trying to charge their Teslas. That's wow. insane. Yeah. We saw people who had pulled over on I twenty four 
and decided to get out there to watch the freaking <laughs> eclipse on I-24. I'm assuming that's super busy. Yeah. 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 Think no. of 95, Dan. 95 minus a oh, little bit. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Uh, Slapshot says Harley did anything here in Virginia, but uh, Shayla and I and our spouses were on a tour at A. Smith Bowman doing. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it was it was a partial eclipse here. I mean, you you know, um, it was a, a nice little like crescent, I guess, that was left I'm open. But, yeah, it looked it looked pretty nice. We were at like ninety eight percent here in Champaign, but the difference oh, wow. between a hundred and ninety nine point four is like a lot. I mean, yeah. so um, but I I met my daughter. I work on campus. I met my daughter on campus and my wife, and it, it was packed. Yeah. People. People brought chickens and all kinds of shit. I was like, "Why are you bringing chickens?" And they're like, "Oh, they're supposed to lay eggs when it goes dark." I'm like, you guys are crazy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> how how was that job going, Lance? All right. Oh, it's great, man. I love it. It's that's, it's it was a good move. Was a good that's move. awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. Happy for you, man. Yeah, I was telling uh, I was telling some of the folks earlier about some of the picks for for barrels for hope we got coming up. So. Um, Good Definitely stuff. Say, I'm, I'm gonna. I need to try to get on at least at least two to three of these things, man. So yeah. Well, we got Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, Ben Holiday coming yep. up. Um, got two barrels from Dark Arts. Two from Dark Arts. They're both. I can't wait for you to taste those, man. Yep. Got um, a Starlight pick along with the the year end event. And the four roses. Yeah. Four yeah. Roses. Lots lots of good stuff, man. Yeah. Um, I missed it, uh, but where were you? We're moving to uh, set out in the front of the yard to watch it. We had three and a half minutes of totality. It was awesome. That's cool. Oh, that Chill is cool. Well, bud. Um, all right, guys. Last question on the nose, nose only. Um, I need you to tell me what type of whiskey this is. Is this a bourbon, a rye, an American whiskey, or a weeded whiskey? Bourbon, rye, American whiskey, or weeded whiskey. How many two points? Two minutes on the nose. Sorry, two minutes on the clock. Nose only. Your time begins now. I don't know, but it smells freaking amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I should have been sipping along with you guys. But... You should have been like dangling the bottles on the camera just to see if somebody noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I may have poured one earlier, maybe. I don't know what I just poured, but it smells okay. really good. Oh, that's a barrel. Oh, Carter. No, that's a barrel king. Oh, a barrel king. Yeah. God, it smells great. Oh my God, whatever that is, it does smell amazing. Oh man, I agree. It's cloudy. I think I got it 100. It's cloudy. <laughs> the fuck out of here, Vic. <laughs> I, I think I know what this is. Turks, I meant to tell you. So you you know how when we met up over at Whiskey Row, I brought the cream in Kentucky, right? Yep. Yeah. So it was kind of chilly that night. I left it in my car. I forgot. I left it in my car. And I, I you know, I got it in the morning. It was cloudy when I got it. And I was like, wait a minute. What happened? Like, I was, it was in the cold. Like, everything should be fine. Too much air. The cork was in there. So I brought it in. I, I let it sit somewhere where it was warm. And sure enough, like, when I got home from work the next day, it was fine. So yeah. I was really worried, though. I was like, man, it turned that quick, just like that overnight from being in the cold. Um, but, yeah. All right, Vic. I yeah. Guess, but, uh, yeah, but you don't have to awful. worry about that. <laughs> it smells awful familiar. <laughs> wow! Dude, no, cheers, bud. We went uh, to women. Yeah, when's the yeah. last time I had this? Huh? When's the last time I had three? Uh, what sample C? Yeah, when's the last time I tried it? Uh, you never tried it. Oh, Vic, <laughs> when you when you bottled it, what was it? <laughs> it's, it's a it's an ultra rare release, so. Oh. Dang it. You mean I can't get this? <laughs> this smells fantastic. Maybe. <laughs> mm, man, it smells good. Well, I'm looking forward to tasting that the most out of all of them, but they all smell good. 
That's where that's where my Pavu fifteen got went, guys. It's it's all in your eyes blinds right now. <laughs> Lance, do you agree with the last message I sent you? Huh? Yeah. Lance. Oh, What's guys, that? that's time. I'm sorry. I gave you Oh, uh, uh, Or stick with our original. I say stick with our original, but man. Nice, Shayla. Cheers. Okay, I'm sending it. You ready? Send it. Yeah. It's gone. We're in. All right. We're, you <laughs> got to go with I, sure? I got to go with your gut, man. Uh, uh, Slash, I said we did a tour at Bowman. I asked if they were doing anything in VA. Josh, disappointed <laughs> we didn't go with our first. Instinct. Just shell for the guy said yes. They have a handful of barrels of the original VA gentleman mash bill aging. Oh, nice. Okay, that's cool, Brian. They'll release it in 2035 on the hundredth anniversary of the distillery. Holy shit! Okay, so we got a little while until that, yeah. but that's that's, <laughs> that's cool, awesome. Man. That'll be a, that'll be an awesome release for sure. Um, I told I told Slapshot so um, there was a guy that uh, I'm, I'm friends with and he bought a uh, one of the old Virginia gentlemen that was distilled at uh, Bowman um, one of the dusty ones and um, he he got it before I did so I, I asked him I was like hey man could you give me a sample of that and I told Brian when I saw him at uh, the Whiskey Row that I would um, I'd give him that sample uh, it's, nice. it's close to, it's close to him so, um, so I told him I'd give him that sample. Cali Dram says, let's go, Vic. All right. Well, now we're, we're getting into the tasting round, guys. All I right? don't like Cali Dram. <laughs> <laughs> so things are going to go a little different here. All right. What you thought you knew, you don't. So here we go. I don't Actually, I don't know your guys' scores at all, to be honest with you. The Turks haven't shared them with me. Uh, so I, I don't know who's doing what. Um, it's probably best they to – they sent it to Vic. I seen him look at his phone. <laughs> yeah, he's getting that's why I sent it to Vic. Rig, rig. All right, rig. guys. So here we go. So tasting round, two minutes. So you can nose it, you can drink it. Um, so a, I think we. Uh, so I need you guys to tell me for three points what the secondary grain of this whiskey <laughs> is on sample A. Jerks, is that correct? That is correct. And okay. the options are, I don't think I gave you any options, did I? No. So corn, rye, wheat, or barley. Okay. Standard. Corn, rye, wheat, or barley. Secondary grain on sample A on the palate. Two minutes of time begins now. I really wish I was sitting get, along with you guys. You get extra points if you guess the option that's not there and get it right. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Ethan's got jokes. <laughs> I'm excited to get this next uh, this next Barrel King. It's Matt Porter's blend. So we'll see how it does. I'll oh, nice. It. Yeah. We'll review it. Give the old give the old porter a, a review. Anything coming from Matt has to be outstanding. It's it's practically law. Yeah, I mean, I I would think it's it's probably pretty damn good to be honest with you. And didn't he? Isn't it finished in Elijah Craig like old yes. barrels or something? Yeah, I mean, EC twenty three. Yeah. I think they put out two really good options this year, and I was torn on on what to get to be honest with you. But I figured I'd go with Matt's blend. So. I think that's a smart play. The other one was finished in um, antique 107 barrels and Russell's barrels. That's what I think. That's what it was. Um, short but awesome time. Hoping to see you and the wifey here in June. So it's Tater Tom. Okay, Tater's Tater's on West Coast. I do want to try to get out there in June. Turks, are you going out to? To West Coast in June, yeah, we will be there. That's yeah, there's a big event in June. Hmm. All right. What's the what's the date range? It'll be from the twenty first to the twenty third. the The main event is on the twenty second. Okay. All right. I gotta write stuff down because I will forget, guys. That is time. 
That is time. All right. Again, guys, for tonight's giveaway, I just want to throw this back out there. Um, every $5 Super Chat gets you entered in to win a sample. Um, we have a sample from Eric Gunderson of a Middle West uh, pick, I believe. Um, two one-ounce samples from um, John uh, Ashbridge, J. Sells, um, Boston. Uh, two samples of the Blanton's straight from the barrel, 133.6 proof. Uh, two samples of this old school uh, Four Roses, the old Al Young bottle. Um, two samples of Pappy 15 are up for grabs. And also a sample of the 1914 Greenbrier, which is pre-prohibition. All those samples are up for grabs tonight, guys. Every $5 Super Chat gets you entered into win. Um, and, and again, I know uh, I said it earlier, but thank you guys for all your donations last uh, week. Greatly appreciated. Um, I sent all that information to uh, to Darrell. So uh, thank you all for that. Uh, again, all, all proceeds went to him. So thank you all for that. Greatly appreciated. Rigged. <laughs> <laughs> Who won several bottles during that event? I don't know. I forgot. Eric took that Eric dusty did. bottle. Eric won... No, I think Vic did. <laughs> I think he won three times. Two. Three. Two. But right. I do have to say, Big Vic did put in the most entries. Yes, he did. Yeah, yes, so. he did. By, by far. He should have won. Want, he should have won. I wanted that dusty bottle. <laughs> oh, I wanted that dusty bottle. I got, I got something for you, Vic. <laughs> um, all right. So on the, on the, on the pallet, um, sample B. I need you guys to tell me the proof of this whiskey on sample B. Now, uh, oops, Turks, is this uh, what's the what's the point system for this one? It's not not on here. I can't remember it. Uh, so this is proof. Uh, so yeah. proof is you get five points if you're correct, four points within three, or three points within five. Five points if correct. Four point. Would you say four points within three? Yeah. Correct. And then three points. Within five. Correct. Proof on the pallet. Two minutes, guys. Sample B, your time begins now. Uh, so the average drinker hit 10,000. She did. Yeah. Yep. 10,000. That's awesome. Yeah. It was great That's to crazy. see her and uh, Bill on tonight for a little bit, too. That's cool. 10K, it's a huge milestone. Yeah. Uh, Tim Courtney with a $5 Super Chat says, I like samples, LOL. <laughs> Cheers, Tim. You are in it to win it, brother. Uh, <laughs> Kelly Drams with a $20 Super Chat says, in it to lose. <laughs> Hashtag rigged. <laughs> Lance, I'm putting it no, in you might win. I'm not in it. Sounds good. Um, B Bauer, good evening, y'all. Cheers, brother. Good to see you. Uh, Major Zero of the Five Dollars Super Chat says, "In it to win it." Yes, sir. You are in it to win it, Major. Thank you so much for the super chat, Cali Drams, Jake. Thank you, um, Tim Cornet. Thank you as well, Eric Gunderson. Goodness, with a twenty dollars super chat. Two entries for the Turks and two entries for the Vic. Oh no, no really. appreciate it, Eric. Thank you, man. Thank you, Eric. Greatly appreciate it, brother. Thank you. Got a lot of nice samples in this giveaway now, I'll tell you that. We appreciate that, Eric, but we're tracking. <laughs> you can't be seen to rig it. <laughs> guys got 15 seconds. Looks like you guys are done already. Confident? Oh, you I hope not. I mean, sorry. Oh, we're, that, that we're muted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that is time. Oh, man. That is time. All right. <clears throat> All right. So, how you guys feel after that? Tired. Upset, Tired. <laughs> overweight. Overweight. <okay. laughs> Copper Wolf of the $20 Super Chat says, uh, 
for the win, hopefully. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Cheers, Ryan. Thank you, brother. Much appreciated, buddy. Got uh got plenty of plenty of samples tonight. We got what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got eight samples to give away tonight. We got eight winners. Could be multiple winners. They could all be Vic. Who knows? There's nine samples, bud. <laughs> That's because I can't count. Yep. <laughs> also, if anybody has any questions, it's all in the banner. Trust the banner. Trust the banner, not Ethan, not Ethan made you a banner. Thank you. I just noticed <laughs> that now. I don't know how long it's been scrolling across the screen, but I just noticed it now. <laughs> Pretty Thank much you. the whole time. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh goodness. <laughs> That's how it goes sometimes. Um <laughs> <laughs> Chill Will Rocco with a twenty dollars super chat says two for me and two for Major Zero. Much nice. appreciated, brother. Thank you so much, man. I uh, still got your uh, your sample ready to, to ship, um, so we'll get that out hopefully tomorrow. Um, Vic's trying to let someone else win this week. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. On sample C on the pallet. Again, guys, please make sure you guys save some of the whiskey for the bonus round. Sample C on the palate. I need you guys to tell me the age of this whiskey. Age of the whiskey on sample C. Um, this is – Turks, what's the point system for this one? Can't remember. Uh, the point system is three points for correct. Three points for Two correct. Two points within three, one point within five. Oh, got it. Okay. That is – the point system for this question, guys, proof, I'm sorry, age of this whiskey on the palate. Sample C, two minutes, your time begins now. Yeah, I mean, if you can't guess it within five, you should just find a different hobby. <laughs> Christopher David is in the house. What's up, buddy? You looking Ooh. forward to, to flying with you, holding your That's leg good. while we fly? Man. No, no problem, Chill Will. Anytime, buddy. If anybody has a chance to get Starlight uh the double oak dry, just do it. Don't think twice. Just do it. Really? I agree yeah, with you. This is the French oak that they actually had whenever we uh did your pick, Dan. Mm -hmm. And Jesus, it's good. Damn. Is that new or is that uh was that one of the um, gift shop? That was from the gift shop back yeah. in August. Damn, nice. That was the one that Vic tr Vic tried it the other night, and mm -hmm. I think you were asking about it when we were offline. But that was the Starlight. Yeah, that one's good. Yeah, it's French oak. It's the second barrel was French oak, and my uh, God, I, I know you love French oak, man. I love me some French oak, man. <laughs> Take frosting. Uh, no worries, Dan. Thanks for yeah. No, no problem, brother. Anytime. Uh, Drifting drams, mm -hmm. minty. Question mark? Um, no. A little bit, but not a little bit of mint. Yeah, zero dill. Um, a fair amount of oak. Plenty of the French oak. What again? What I call cake frosting. And a nice little finish. Nice little hug. That sounds. And what's the proof on that one? One fifteen. Nice. So it's right in that sweet spot too. Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys bringing that to Indy? Five seconds, yeah, guys. We sure can. Man, that's beautiful. Whatever that is, is awesome. That's an awesome pour. That is, that's, I agree. All right, guys, that is time. Let's go South Pacific, says Tommy D. <laughs> All right. So you guys like sample C, huh? It's actually good. Was that your guys' favorite out of the bunch? Yeah, for me, for me, it was. Yeah. Vic, yours for too. Me, it definitely was. <laughs> yeah, we did. Okay. All right, guys. So how how do we feel after the the main round? We got two <laughs> bonus questions to get through. So how how do you guys feel? Hungry, tired. Hungry, tired. <laughs> Overweight. I'm right there with you, man. I need to eat something when I leave. So. You have chips at your house. I do have chips. <laughs> I have cheese puffs. I have chips. I have. I do have some olives in the fridge. I might grab those. I have Cool, cool Ranch Doritos. Somebody Barbecue should make you a grilled cheese. Grilled cheese with pickles cheese. on it. 
<laughs> there you go. Okay. Now we're talking. <laughs> um, top dog, <laughs> top dog with a ten dollars super chat says two for me. <laughs> Got it, brother. Thank you so much for the super chat. You are in it to win it, my friend. All right, guys. So for the first bonus question, first bonus question. Let's see what we got here. Sorry, my phone is going to be dying soon. So, um, Rig. <laughs> first bonus question. We are going to ask. Oh, sorry, Turks. I there. Never mind. It's the answers to the two questions were at the bottom of the screen for me, Turks. So on that page, I'm sorry. So. Oh no, you're good. You're I good. I said read it's all the way down. <clears throat> um, Thank you, Eric. Eric, I need to eat. All right, guys, so I need you to tell me on sample B, what is the state of distillation for sample B? And I'm going to give you some options. All right, this is for three points. This is bonus points. Uh, state of distillation, and please don't drink all of this sample. I know you, it's probably getting light, but don't drink all of it. State of distillation on sample B, I need to know if this is from Texas, California, New York, or the great state of Kentucky. Mm. Texas, California, New York, or Kentucky. On the pallet, sample B. State of distillation. Two minutes. Time begins now. Isaiah is in the house. Cheers, my friend. Good to see you. Drifting Dram's not the worst autocorrect. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Sarah, Eric. <laughs> so I to make sure to feed the dog. <laughs> oh, goodness. Man, that Barrel King is so good. I don't know if Porter had, had his hands in on this one, but it's this is really good. Got to look up and see if he did. This is batch 77. Man. Lance, it was my it was my pour of the year last year. You you go for it, man. This this one can be all you, because what I thought it was, it was not. <laughs> he did not say Indiana, and I swore that was a ninety five five rye. <laughs> uh, Eric Demaris, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Always good to see you, Eric D. Um, all right. Get another pour of something here. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I'm going to try some of this wood stove Sagamore. Oh, yeah. I'm we have curious on that one. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't drank a lot of this one. Uh, 92. Oh, okay. Four years in New Oak, aged one year and one month in wood stove imperial stout barrels. Mm. Man, we had at a Dark Arts Dam, he brought out a, uh American single malt. He wouldn't tell us where it was distilled from, but it was one of the legacy Kentucky distilleries. Yeah. Finished in um, red ale barrels. Ooh. <laughs> It was it it was good. It was wild. Everyone thought, you know, I'm not a huge single malt guy, but everybody was like, "This is the best single malt we've ever had." It was it was really good. Damn. Yeah, it was really interesting. He's doing some wild stuff, man. Uh, 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 Macaulay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Guys, that's time. I'm sorry. Oh, you said it was you said it was finished in red ale. Yeah. No. Yep. Yeah, can you uh, EJ with a last super chat says postage for the bottles and samples. EJ, much appreciated, man. Thank you. Uh, greatly appreciate that. Um, it does cost a pretty penny to ship, so thank you. Much yeah, appreciated. Can you repeat the last question? Um, the bonus <laughs> question? <laughs> yeah, please. 21090 says it's very good, Dan. Uh, at least the batch. Um, at least the batch from last year. I haven't tried the most recent batch of it. Um, look at Jeffrey Wack hiding in the back. Dark yeah. Arts. <laughs> that Sagamore tasted like malted milk balls. Oh, man. I love chocolate malted milk balls. Yeah, but that wood stove, <laughs> yeah, the wood stove Imperial. I mean, that's what I remember from it. I haven't had it in a while, but 
Um, all right, guys. So the final question in the bonus round, I need you guys to put these whiskeys in order from lowest to highest proof. Low to high. But before we do that, I need you guys to send the Turks a wager. You can wager up to five points. Mm. You can wager up to five points. Okay. If you're wrong, you lose what you wager. If you're right, you win what you wager. Up to five points. So you guys have to send that to the Turks before we get started on this round. Yeah. You said from lowest to highest? Lowest to high, low to high. Yep, wager first. It literally smells like chocolate. Chocolate. Uh, Lance. Oh no! How we're... much you want to? How much you want to wager? <laughs> well, nothing based on the answer you just sent me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You went Do lowest we start from now? lowest to highest? Do we start now? No, 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 not, not yet. Once once you guys get the wagers in, I don't, I don't know if Yeah, you wager know. first, Joe. Who's Joe? Y'all. We live in the South, top dog. <laughs> Joe. Yo. 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 What'd you say in? <laughs> Second. Well, you might be right, top dog. Oh, no, I don't, don't even tell me that. I still don't have a wager from y'all. All right, yeah, I, on, I would go on. with the wager you said. Okay. That's fine. And, and then we can talk about it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got 51 in chat. Cheers, y'all. Thanks for tuning in, man. Much appreciated. A lot Thank of nice stuff tonight, too, guys. So, for anyone who is just joining. Uh, yeah. Turks, you guys got the you good? Yep, we're good. Okay, we're good. All right, guys. So, again, two minutes on the clock. I need you to put these in order from lowest to highest proof. Two minutes on the clock. Your time begins now. Good luck, guys. This is for all the gravy. Lance, I don't know what to do. Had I'm sending you some messages. messages. Adam Shelton. That must have been okay. the, must have been the eclipse. Man. I'm going to submit it. Okay, go this for it. For, this this is for all the marbles. All the marbles, go for it. <laughs> William Hall says I heard I, someone say that someone here I on this stream was talking about bourbon. Is this true? <laughs> Cheers, William. Good to see you, bud. Um, glad the pack. Yeah, absolutely. Is it uh Turks, is it warm where you guys are? Um it has been mild, I guess you could yeah. say. It hasn't little, been little too little hot heat. or too warm. Uh Todd, I'm I'm assuming that's you on 21090, Todd. I heard your mess. I started with my Yeah, that's not Andy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, Todd, I know it's I know it's too late um, for the next round because um, I got I got to get some samples out to the West Coast guys, but uh, it'll probably wind up having to be the Monday after. Um, hopefully, you guys are available to do that. Uh, well, actually, we'll we'll see we'll see if if I shoot the way that uh, that Vic said to do it, I can probably get it out to the West Coast quick. So I'll, I'll just do it that way. I'll try to get the samples out tomorrow. Vic, you said that's two day, right? Yeah, okay. Tater Don with the ten dollars super chat says team hashtag drifting rig. <laughs> 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 ten seconds, guys. Ten seconds. Lowest to highest proof. I'm gonna get I'm gonna put a in there. All right, guys, that is time. That is time. Okay. That should be this. Yeah. All right. Man, that is good. Whoever wins this is in for a tough second round, says Jeffrey Wack. That's right, guys. Whoever wins this is going up against the nerdy boys. Jeffrey Ooh. Wack is in the bourbon wrench. Trevor. You're going, you're going down, Jack. He said you're going down. Who's Wack? Jack? 
<laughs> All right. How do you guys feel after that bonus round? Good? I feel like I'm lucky I have Top Dog as a partner. That's how I feel. <laughs> oh, no. I feel, right. I feel the same. <laughs> we, Vic, how, how we do you feel good. riding solo, man? I know, I know riding solo is tough, so I, I, I feel you on that one. I'm used to it. All right. <laughs> Turks, how we how we looking? Uh, we are totaled up and ready to go. Yeah, I mean scores are in. Um, how we're looking is a different question altogether. <laughs> uh oh, no shit. I think the scores are going to be low. Yeah. Low? Okay. Low. Yeah, I think I think I sent you guys a good mix of stuff, so we'll we'll see. All right. I thought Turks, Big Vic you said wanna, You guys want to take this this part away, or you want me to do the questions, or? Uh, up to you. <clears throat> All right, so I'll do the questions um, as long as my phone doesn't die. Um, we can take right. over if it does. Okay. All right, that? guys, so on the nosing round, on sample A, I asked you uh, where this whiskey was distilled. Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, or Texas? Turks? All right. Uh, one team said Kentucky and one team said Indiana. And one team got points. One team got points. That's right. Not telling you who, but one team got points. One of you guys was correct. One of you guys was not. Um, On sample B on the nosing round, I asked you if this whiskey was finished. Turks? Yeah, so this one was super easy, right? 50-50 shot. Um, One team said yes, and one team said no. And um, surprisingly, one one team got points. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> on, on sample c on the nose i asked you what type of whiskey this was <clears throat> is it a bourbon a rye american whiskey or a weeded whiskey terps both teams said bourbon and both teams got points Woo-wee. okay very nice guys guys Got at least one right. So everybody had at least something by the end of the round. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I think oh, you guys no. are this wager. This wager could mean a lot. It could. <laughs> now I'm getting nervous. So now we move to two of the tasting round. On sample A, um, I asked you what the secondary grain of this whiskey was for three points. The secondary grain of this whiskey was it corn, rye? Was it Malted barley, or was it wheat? Turks? All right. So, um, yep, secondary grain. Uh, One team said rye. One team said barley. And one team got points. Okay. Sample B on the tasting round. I asked you what the proof of this whiskey was. Um, so it was five points if correct, four points within three, three points within five. Turks, all right. One team said 120 proof, one team said 117 proof, and neither team got points. Oh, what? What? Wow. 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 Rigged. 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 <laughs> so, do you guys think it was higher or lower? We can't I say it's it the bottle. You said it was <laughs> higher, Vic? Mm-hmm. Lance, that may work in our favor on the the double bonus. Oh, yeah, I know. That's exactly what I was just thinking. <laughs> All right, guys. So on the tasting round, um, sample C, the age of this whiskey. Um, so three points if correct, two points within three, one point within five. Turks, all right. One team said seven years, one team said 13 years, and one team got two points. So, I mean, seven, 13, it's practically the same answer. I mean, it's right there, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) All right. So on the bonus round, so well, Turks, how how are we looking before the bonus round? 
So before the bonus round, let me go to my little totals here. <laughs> so before the bonus round, it was oh, it was fourteen to three. Oh my god. Oh, what? No. <laughs> oh no. No way. Check the map, oh, no. Just in case anybody's wondering. All right. Wow. No way. Congratulations, guys. Shit. I don't know, oh, big man. That's got me really worried now. No way. That has me worried too. All right. So on the bonus round, uh, the very first question in the bonus round, I asked you guys the state of desolation on sample B. Is it from Texas, California, New York, or Kentucky? Texas, yeah. California, New York, or Kentucky, Terps? All right. So one team said Kentucky, and one team said California, and one team got points. Whoa. Cali. Whoa. Okay. And I will say, at this point, one team did bottle call it. Really? Whoa. Yep. Wow. I don't remember any of us saying a bottle. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> right. I think somebody sent it to us for good measure just to oh. just to, right. just to tell us that they knew what it was. Oh boy. Wow. I have no clue on this one. Okay. Now. All right. So um on the last question for the bonus round, I asked you guys to put these in order from proof. From lowest to highest, lowest to highest, lowest to highest, and um, Turks. What was the what were the wagers? I'm curious. So, Big Vic wagered five points. Biggest mistake. And then the other <laughs> team wagered two points. Okay. And so both teams said the exact same order that it was. Ooh. Alpha, Shit. Charlie, Bravo. And both teams were correct. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's all that's all top dog, man. That is not I, I cannot take guys. credit for that. Good, guys. No, hey. we're a team play. Team wow. Means. Okay. So so I will say the bottle call. Uh oh, you gotta reveal bottles, Dan. Yeah. Yeah. And then I All guess right, we'll tell you the winner now. Super chat says, "Let's go, Lance. You are in it to win it, my friend. Thank you so much for it's the good super name. Chat. It's a good name. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a good name, <laughs> um, Lance. Thank you, man. Much, much appreciated, buddy. All right, guys. So on sample A, the whiskey was a Wilderness Trail 115 year store pick from Bevmo." Oh. 115 proof, five years, three months. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. I think Big Vic cooked us, Top Dog. I think he did too now. I think he cooked On us. Sample B. Sample B was the Mash and Journey Corbin Cash. Oh, oh nice, oh, Top Dog. Right. Bro. Wow. Nailed it. And this one was 136 proof. Jesus. <laughs> I love yeah. Corbin Cash. Yeah, 136 yeah. proof. Corbin Cash is great. Yep, what's great. the ma what's here. the mash bill on that? Uh that I don't know. I, I think it's a hundred percent Merced. It's 100% rye. Rye. Is it hundred oh, percent yeah. rye? It's yeah. I mean well, I I thought it was spicy shit. But I didn't think it was that spicy. Well, it's, it's eight good. years. Yeah. Or man. seven years. No, it's seven that one's eight. That was right? seven. Oh, the Del Cerrito was eight. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Confusing my picks. Yeah. All right. This last thing is going to decide who the winner is. Well, the year. <laughs> the last thing just so happens to be the place that we are doing a pick from on Thursday. This is the Backbone mm -hmm. Single Barrel. That's on seven years. Two, oh, I'm sorry, 120.2 proof. Seven year. Seven years of five year. It is five year. <laughs> Lance, we lost. 
Oh, yeah, we got cooked, man. That's a good bottle. This is a fantastic single barrel from Backbone. Yeah, it is. Congratulations, Big Vic. Yeah, congrats, dude. So what what, what was the final score? The final score was... Let's uh, let's cut out. We'll see you guys later. We're out of here. (laughs) (laughs) I will say, I will say, y'all nailed the bonus questions. Like, it was... Yeah, just the bonus. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, 210 says we love the Corbin cash too. Good evening, folks. Just popping in briefly while working. Say cheers, cheers, Rance. Good to see you, man. Cooler runnings in the house as well, man. Good to see you, buddy. Come on, Katie, give me the numbers. I yeah, how bad did Vic beat us? Need... You got to give it to him. All right, so it was 19 to 8. Jesus, Vic. that was a butt whooping, Vic. Damn, dude. wow. Top dog, next time get your shit together, all right? Jesus. Oh, man, I agree. You made Vic spit out of the water. <laughs> oh, you made Vic pick these bottles. <laughs> oh, goodness. Mark M. Magger said I got here too late for the reveal who won. Uh, Vic, uh, Vic won. Um, <laughs> shit. Man, I feel like my lion eye against Yukon. They just I, we just got we just got curb stomped, <laughs> top dog. Horrible. Wow. Goodness. Guys, though, I mean, uh, all in all, I mean I mean, with you guys guessing the bonus questions like on point, that's that's impressive, man. I mean that I, I don't know how though, because I, I feel I feel you guys guess so low on the proof on that Corbin Cash to put that as the highest is is crazy, but you did. I mean, hey, that's awesome, man. Yeah, I mean, we don't we don't make sense a lot of the time, but yeah. um, <laughs> so the, the scary was- the scary part is Top Dog saved my ass on any question we got right. I think so. I if it was no, if I was playing alone, this would have been really bad. <laughs> so what was what was bottle C again? Bottle C was it. the uh, this is the backbone single barrel. Um, it's five okay. years, 120.2 proof. That's crazy. I thought that was a wild turkey, or yeah. it was. It just tastes so good, man. It's really it's soft on the palate for 120. It's probably one of my favorite single barrels I've had from Backbone, to be honest with you. Like this just gives you so much hope with what they're doing over there, man. Yeah, well, that's I um. I know Go ahead, who's Top getting this flying next. Jake is getting this flying next. Jake, you say Jake? Yes, store Jake. Right <laughs> oh, gotcha. Stuff. He's getting yep. his flying next. Whiskey Nature is in the question. house. Cheers, y'all. Uh, welcome to the new week. Hell yeah. Uh, thank God for wow. Indiana bourbon. Yep, that's right. Says William Hall. Cheers to that, man. Yeah, but right, next so- to Nashville Barrel Company picks I've had, that might be one of my favorite. That's MG- Is that MGP or is that Beam? Yeah, that's it's MGP. It's MGP. Man. That's yeah. one of the best MGP barrels I've probably had. That's delicious, man. Yeah. Especially at five years. Good five lord. Five years. Five years old, man. That's it's nuts. It's so good. It is so, really good. Yeah. For perspective, how does that stack up to the um the newer Nashville barrel picks? For my palate, I, honestly, I, I, but I, you got to keep in mind, like I, I'm real adverse to like double oaked, double barreled stuff. Not real adverse, but it just something artificial comes off to me on some of the Nashville barrels. I like them, but I like this better. This is just this is gorgeous, man. It's really yeah. well balanced. I mean, at, at that age too, like I mean, can you imagine putting like another year or two on that? Like, how long ago was that pick? That was the old label. Um, it was bottled in twenty twenty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, good. I even like that better than, and I like uh, Matt's. Matt did it. Matt with ADHD did one um, that I have that I I really love, but I like this better than that. Yeah, that's a it's a really good single. But I've 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 held on to this one for a while, so <laughs> it's good. Figured I share it with you guys. So yeah, thanks, uh, man. Chuck D with a thirty dollars super chat. Cheers, Chuck. You are in it to win, it, my friend. Got a handful of samples here tonight for you guys to win. So cheers. Thank you. Uh, Adam Shelton says, currently drinking the Barrels for Hope C pick. Nice. Goody. I got to go grab that. I'll I'll drink that next. 
I don't have anything in my glass. I'm dry. Vic, congratulations, sir. Thank yeah, you, sir. congrats, buddy. Congratulations, Thank Vic. You. Yeah, I mean, top dog, Lance. I mean, you guys, that's you guys still did great, regardless. No, nah, I mean, we didn't. It's okay. Uh, you n- nailing yeah. those bonus questions, man. You guys put it in, in order of proof. Big Vic just like think... put us over his lap and spanked yeah. us. It was, it was bad. <laughs> bad. I, I feel I feel like I've been taken advantage of. <laughs> Jeffrey Wax says, hope we can find something uh, this good if you didn't ready. Yes, sir. We will. We will, Jeffrey. No worries. Um, But no, but thank you guys again. Much, much appreciated. And uh, thank you guys for being part of this, uh, this tournament. I know it's kind of dragged on for a while. We are well past April. Um, Hey, we got nothing else to do. Who cares? This is going to go well past May um, (laughs) at this point. Well, Um, not for us. (laughs) <laughs> yeah all it. it's all right it's all right for for vicky will but you know what you guys were you guys were uh you guys were champs so man so oh no jeff's gonna whip my ass next round i know that no he's, oh. Vic, no, he's not i don't I'm know well, Jeff Vic, can't Vic, get Vic, we gotta get you a partner here. buddy we gotta get you a partner so i knew i knew we were dead when vic was like congrats you guys like right yeah. from the beginning, he's like, "Congrats, you guys!" Like, oh, he smoked us. I know he did. <laughs> the first question they let us in, and the second question, I knew we lost. <laughs> Jeffy, uh, no do poofy. <laughs> man, even even if we would have got your bottle guess, top dog, we still wouldn't have come close. Man, even if we'd we have got, got five we points. The, yeah, we got the bonus right. So did he though. Yeah. Man. So Darrell says we're coming for the belt, man. It, oh, we got some trash talking going on here. Uh, William Hall, ten dollars super chat says donating for the shipping fund. William, thank you so much, man. Much appreciated, buddy. You are in it to win it. Thank you. All right, all right, guys. I'm up in less than five hours. Yeah, buddy. Get some yep. sleep, John. Thank you, brother. Hey, Ryan thank. Balance. Hey, thanks for being a great partner, buddy. I'm sorry I held you back. Lance, I really enjoyed it, and I can't wait to meet you on a Barrels of Hope barrel pick. Yeah, I can't either, buddy. I can't either. Cheers, guys. Uh, Tom Cheers, Harder, buddy. Though. Cheers, John. Good, Good to see you. See you, brother. Dusty, I'm running, too. Thanks for putting this on, man. I had a blast. Oh, Lance, you're more than welcome, brother, as always, buddy. I'll talk to you soon, all right? All right. I'm, Drifting I'm gonna, Dramps, gonna, love you guys. Yeah. Big Vic, love you, buddy. Congrats. Cheers, bud. Thank you. Good to see you, man. man, let me know. All right. What's that? I'm gonna text you during that four roses pick. Do please do. <laughs> <laughs> all right, later, guys. Hey, bud. Later. Take care. Uh, Tom Harper says, "Dan, what's the story behind all the Dusties? I've been uh, here for like a year or more trying to win them, but never got the story." Um, so, I mean, I, uh, I mean, I, I, I collect them. Um, uh, I, I buy them in, in bulk and sometimes sell them, sometimes keep them. Just depends, Tom, uh, on, on what it is and, and where I get it from and the, 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 the provenance of it. But, um, but yeah, so, I mean, I, 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 mean, I have a, a, a ton that I drink. I have a ton that I get rid of. Um, vintage whiskey broker, if you want to call it that, that's, that's fine. Um, I do spend – uh, some decent cash on them and, 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 you know, find them in very random places. Sometimes, sometimes on secondary market, sometimes not, uh, just depends. Um, yeah, I mean, I can, I can get you a small little sample pack together, man, if you want. Um, does anyone know where I get some great coffee? Looking for a new source. Yes. William Hall. I do know where you get some coffee. If you head over to the drifting drams website, you can find all different kinds of coffee. Yeah, there's going to be, I, I told William, there's seven new ones going up between tonight and tomorrow. You know, I, you know, I gotta, I gotta get on your guys' Patreon. I'll do that tonight. Um, Drifting Dreams have about seven new coffees going up on the site tomorrow. Okay, Katie, yep, you just said that. Um, awesome, Tom. Yeah, no problem, buddy. I got your address. Mark Emmenecker with a $10 super chat says, looking for more dusty finds. Me too, Mark. Me too. I'm always looking for dusty stuff. Hidden in people's houses or wherever you can find them. Estate sales are great, man. If you can ever find them in your area, estate sales are great. Um, They don't always have old whiskey, but when they do, you usually get it for very cheap. So 
Um, Vic, congratulations, man. I that's, play a, play. that's a hell of a win there, bud. I'll, I'll tell you that. I was already giving up. I said, eh, fuck it. Well, you, I'm out this if, time. If you have that mindset going into the next round, I mean, that's, I mean, I thought. Oh, no, next better. round is on. Fucking Jeff, I'm coming for you, bro. I thought I put a good wine together for you guys, and you you crushed it. You crushed the nosing round entirely. Uh, and then two out of the three questions you got points on for the tasting. Here comes Darrell about to talk oh, shit. Here shit. we go. <laughs> nah, I don't need to talk any shit. <laughs> I said I don't need to talk shit. <laughs> Take it over that belt. <laughs> That's awesome. For another belt, man. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Dude, that fucking Corbin Cash is crazy. It doesn't oh, drink like one thirty something. Oh, it doesn't drink that at all, man. I don't even know how the hell you bottle guess that, dude. That's crazy. That's oh, you bottle guess? I didn't bottle guess that. Oh, it's it top, was dog. top dog. Top dog did. Oh, did he really? Oh, I th okay. I thought you bottle guess. Yeah, that. no. No, I That's didn't. I, I didn't do no bottle guess. I'm like shit. It is pretty unique, but still to pick it out of a blind, it's still really hard. That's but insane. It's, it's like the Middle West spirits, like that dark pumpkin nickel. If you drink enough of it, you could probably pick it out. But when you're blind and stuff, it gets tough, though, man. It's, yeah. it's hard. You know what? I thought it was a bourbon. Really? That's why I went traditional bourbon, second oh, grain of rye, and that shit was a rye rye. Yeah. 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 That Corbin That's cash crazy. is. That's, That's crazy, killer, man. And you just didn't you just you were drinking when the Corbin Dallas right recently? Yeah, I was, yeah. That, on is Saturday. that different? Come on, <laughs> I, I'll need to compare them now. I'm pretty sure they are that different. Are they? Yeah. And that I'd one's 135 proof side. as well. Mm. <clears throat> so I'd have to compare them to say for sure, but honestly, that Corbin Dallas pick might be my favorite of the ones I've had. What? Damn. Damn. Damn, boy. Yeah, Vic's been like pumping it, and I just can't be buying bottles right now. I'm like, ugh. It's 95 bucks, eight year, not bad. It's not, but. <laughs> not for crack. <laughs> <laughs> Set so much money is going other places. Yeah. Oh, man. Plus, I got whiskey. I just found a steal. Like, I, I sent you that picture, Vic. Freaking, it was 39 bucks. Freaking, seven year. So oh was, yeah, yeah. And I had him. I had him send it to Jeff's house because he's coming to freaking Indy. So it should be at his house tomorrow or Wednesday the latest. So he'll just bring it up to you, Indy. But I'm All like thirty nine dollars. Right. You know, then those Kentucky Owls, which I didn't buy, they were half off. I'm like fifty percent retails, like three hundred dollars on those. Yeah. Kentucky Owls. <laughs> yeah, batch eleven and twelve. I think it was. Yes. You know, it was a store that had them for half off. They were one fifty. Damn. Yeah. And I had a couple nice MGP picks. Six and seven years. Tom Parker with a twenty dollar super chat says love <clears> it. <throat> Cheers, Tom. You are in it to win it, my friend. Thank Let you. Let me so know, Darrell. How's that that Traverse City? Mm -hmm. so I'll throw in a Corbin Cash uh Merced Rice sample. 120 Eric, that's extremely generous of you, man. You already threw in a Middle West pick. Thank you, uh Eric. So that is a Corbin Cash. William Hall. Yes, buddy. Wednesday. Well, Thursday. All of well, not all of us. Me, Dan, the Turks. Yeah, we'll be at Backbone. Be in your neck of the woods. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, if there's a if there's a bottle meetup or a bottle share that we're doing, I mean, if anybody wants to hop in, if you guys are local, I don't know where we'll be, but We'll be at the Airbnb for sure for mm -hmm. a bottle share, you know, so we're not having to drive anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, we'll reach out. Yeah. Actually, William, I don't know if I have your Yeah, I think I think we might have a we might have contact. Might have an issue driving after this backbone pick. So Yeah, let me Oh uh, Shelton. What, what, up? what up, stud? What are you doing, man? How are you? I'm all right. How are you? Good. All right. I'm glad I'm still here, uh, man. You guys excited? Yep. Oh yeah, man. I can't. I wait. can't wait, dude. I'm like a kid at like Christmas, right? <laughs> now. Like, 
Is it 12 o'clock yet? Is it 12 o'clock? <laughs> I'm like, I just need, I need to get away for like a day or two, man. Well, it's going to yeah. be a long day or two, but mm-hmm. yeah, it's just <clears throat> craziness. But now it'll be, it'll be fun, man. I can't wait. It's good to have that R&R, man. You need it. Yeah, yeah for sure. You know I mean? Everybody needs that R&R from time to time. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it, man. I haven't, haven't really been away since uh, we went to um, – the last pick. So I'm, I'm excited though. Like I said, I talked to, I talked to Ben on my way to work and, um, <coughs> and how it's nice because I, I, for the most part, anyway, like the majority of the picks we've been on, have been kind of like, I don't, I don't want to say timed, but it's almost like, you know, after they give you what they give you, it's kind of just like, Hey, well, you know, on hey, the next but with, with backbone, it's, uh, <laughs> You know, it's drink, drink whatever, however much. You know, so I'm 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 looking forward to that. Um, being able to drink whatever, you know what I mean, and, and have like full access to whatever's in there, which is amazing. So that's a theme with Indiana distilleries because that's the way it was at Starlight. Yeah, yeah. Starlight was just like, what do you want? You want me to climb? Sure. <laughs> um. Shauna Marie D is in the house. Cheers, Shauna. Oh, cheers, Shauna. Sent you out a package today as well. Oh, I've seen Chris Herb too. Of the week. Speak of the devil, he will be on this pick as well. Cheers, Let's Chris. Finally, get to meet him. Shit. Yep. <laughs> Fellow Eagles uh, fan. Z Man with a twenty dollars super chat says, "Cheers, everyone. Cheers, Z Man. You are in it to win it, my friend. Your package went out today in the mail as well." Or should I, I say, you know, yes. you some stuff at Backbone for sure. Oh, hell yeah. Maybe with my phone, which still should be pretty decent versus the camera. I don't know how to use the camera in like that video mode yet. I haven't like really dived into that. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to get some stuff for sure. I don't have a great phone to shoot footage either. So I, I think, um, who was it that said they're going to try to shoot? Was it, was it Chris from Bourbon of the Week? Yeah, he's going to try to do like a vlog style. Like Jason. And I think Jeff is too. Norseman did it with his phone when we were in Kentucky, and he did like a forty-minute video that was killer, dude. Like it, it looked really, really good. Like I got a really good camera, but like he obviously edited and added all types of stuff. But um, I think I should be able to get some good photos and videos uh, with the phone. You know, I just then try to work that into maybe like a a video or so. But definitely want to put some stuff out there for the Patreons and you know, kind of document the pick with all of us. Should be should be mm-hmm. fun. <clears throat> Darrell bring olives for Dan. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, we'll, we'll bring some pickles. We got some bags of pickles from Big Vic. I can do pickles. I love do pickles. I'll, I don't touch olives. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I, I, can freaking, I can munch on some pickles. You know what I need to get is freaking. Cheers, these- everyone. Hey, Z Man. Cheers. Hey. <clears throat> so, Bourbon of the Week says that's all he has is an iPhone, too. Yeah. Yeah, no, my phone's great in terms of camera. I just, we'll see. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited though, man. Like to be able to to go on a pick and have access to whatever, and uh, and have kind of more, more time frame to get it done, and yeah, it relaxes is, is very nice. So definitely, this is trip sponsored. This trip sponsored. I wish <laughs> <laughs> probably liquid IV. There you go. Yeah. Lots of Jesus. Goodness. I know uh, last time we were on a pick, we had both. So. I'll have four <laughs> from last time, but I didn't order any more. Those things are clutch, man. Like, I had that, and it's it's so much easier to drink versus a Z. I mean, not a Z Biotics, uh, liquid IV, because you have to drink a bottle of water. Right? That thing, you, sh- you shoot it, boop. You know, it's <laughs> more energy. Pickled okra? Hell yeah, dude. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Indeed. Congratulations, Vic. Thank you, Zima. Yeah, man. Vic, you did great, buddy. Yeah, you did. Crazy, <laughs> man. We gotta mm-hmm. find you, we gotta find you a partner unless you want to ride solo again. It's up to you. I got a partner. He's sitting right there in the middle. <laughs> you did. Mm. All right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ethan, is your partner going forward? Damn, he yeah. may bring you down, Vic. Shit, you did good. <laughs> After that, I probably would bring him down. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, let me now, know. And I'll, uh, I'll make sure I send samples to um, to Ethan as well. So, yeah, yeah. I think we scored eighteen. You and Adam, I think, scored nineteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We scored 19, right? Yeah. yeah he scored 19. We scored 18. Yep. Are you going to seed? Actually, no, you're not seeding, right? You're just going by bracket. Yeah, yeah, it's just bracket. Okay. Nice. So points don't matter. That's good. Yeah, I know we got to get um, we got to get Todd and Andy on there with uh, I messaged uh, Whiskey Wars and Bad Axe, and then also um, the Dirty RC Bar because I don't know who I don't know what mixture of the two there. Uh, they're they're going with this uh, this upcoming week, but I just got to know so I get the samples out to them. Who's Dirty RC Bar? I don't even see that. Uh, on... That's Rick Cruz. He yep. he filled in for Bad Axe. Oh, Bad Axe okay, gotcha. Last time. But I, I know that I know that I think all three of them are available. But I just told him that I can only have two. So who's you know who's going to be? Yes, yeah, yeah, so we, we face the winner of that that yep. what well, that team? What well, that line should I say? It's my charger. And who knows who that blind may come from? I think the three is pretty solid. It may yep. come from the Turks. It may come from Eric Damaris. It can come from anybody who's eliminated. It can be anybody. Anybody who's not currently in the tournament that that, uh, that blind can go from. So Just We'll have that. Adam send out the finals round. I'll be in them. Nah, eh. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh man! Peter B nice. said, "Ride the hot pallet, Vic." <clears throat> Phil and I scored negative three. <laughs> Vic just doesn't like Ethan's emojis. <laughs> Bro, he was throwing me the fuck off oh, so bad with that it. shit. Yeah. yeah. When I was tasting them, the blinds. Yeah, I was getting the same thing. I was like, "Oh really?" Oh really? <laughs> But Maybe I was getting, the, getting I was the, the 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 lip the lip emojis and the, the heart emojis. So I don't know what you were getting, Vic. But I think I think the best was last week with uh, Jason. Ethan sent him a ball of yarn, and he asked if it was a if it was a balloon, and Ethan said no, a ball of yarn, and then sent a cat emoji. All right. Yep. <laughs> Gotta keep you on the toes, you know? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Have y'all ever had these? Uh, Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Yes. Uh, no. Those look amazing. Yeah. I just only had like the vanilla bag, ginger snaps, like that yellowish bag. Good stuff. They're very good. Uh, Triple mm-hmm. ginger snaps. Are they like extra spicy? Super spicy. Uh, gingery. Hold on. Like spicy. I haven't. Had I mean, I know ginger, so let's the little let's guys. Get that out the way. Yeah. 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 Cool. So I can eat like half a container. All I know <laughs> is I can't wait till the holidays when you make your ginger cookies again because those are amazing. Who makes ginger cookies? <laughs> Adam. Okay. I like ginger. <laughs> yes. Ginger. Not gingers. <clears throat> Sorry. Are they spicy? Adam? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. I'm There's not, some yeah, black yeah. pepper in there. A lot of cardamom, um, yeah. molasses. Gotta have the molasses. That's uh, rye flour. Ah, mm-hmm. <coughs> oh, Hi. Why do you have to wait for Christmas to make ginger cookies? Hi. Adam? It's a tradition. <laughs> well, break tradition and make them again if Katie wants them. You don't fucks with traditions. Yeah. <laughs> then again, don't piss the woman off. I hate to say this, but I was preoccupied uh, trying to put my kitchen back together, so I don't know the final of what happened for tonight. Who won? So, uh, so Vic, Vic rolled Vic solo. Rolled off of solo? solo. 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 Solo, amigo. Yeah, Vic got lucky. That was close. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that. not luck. <laughs> yeah, I think I lucky again. Uh, that was that was that was good though, man. You did great. Dean, can I ask you a challenge? A ch- question about the, the uh, cool. challenge. Yes. So this is a two versus oh, two challenge, and, and Vic just did this by himself. So 
he has an advantage because he doesn't have to talk to another person. So he should be disqualified. (laughs) 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 Nick's like smoking a cigarette. He goes, I'm going to kill this guy. (laughs) What place are you, John? (laughs) Ask me when this is over, buddy boy. (laughs) Oh, you're still in, right, John? Yeah, he's still in. No, you're still in. Yeah, we're still in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, He said we. It's a two-person challenge. Well, Vic's, uh, Vic's next partner is actually on screen right there next to Katie, apparently. Yeah. So cool. There you Rick. go. Watch he'll right. lose next round. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't rig this shit, bro. So we have no, so right now. Just ask him not to rig this shit. Did you just say that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> So right now it looks like um, that was interesting. It looks like we saw uh, everybody Vic. refresh, and then Dan's Vic. not back. Yeah, he I'm is. not back. He's he online. Yeah, oh. I'm looking at my own. I'm not live. Okay. No, you're good. You're, you're good. Live. You're good. No, you're good. Good. no, you're fine. Um, so we got so All we right, got cool. Vic and Ethan Our going up against now. Jeff in the Bourbon Ridge in the quarterfinals. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, I got Jeff. You got you got you got Trav, bro. Come on. We have <laughs> uh Christopher David and Independent Joe going up against uh Todd Ritter and John J Salt Boss. Oh, so that's pours. I was trying to figure out who pours galore was. Yep. Okay. Sure. We have uh uh we have Team America, so we have uh Mark, Mark. Northwest. Yep. And uh well, I don't think Scott's gonna be Available. I think it's gonna be, isn't it? Uh, Baker drinks. Yes, yeah, Baker drinks. Yeah, yeah. and they're going up against Troy. Adam. Yep. Yeah, Troy from Baker drinks, and then Adam mm-hmm. and Brian slap shot. And then Zero Saints here, uh, Darrell and Major Zero, going up against either two ten ninety or uh, a mixture of the three of Whiskey Wars, Dirty RC Bar, and Bad Axe Bourbon. That's your quarterfinals. All right. There you go. Dude, yeah, are- I, made, I, I made myself a plate of pickled items slash marinated items. Pickle, okay. <laughs> so right. we got we got we got the pepperoncinis right now. Oh, the pepperoncinis are great. We got some pickled beets. Oh yes. Yeah. We got some of the sweet and spicy pepperdews. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We got yeah. some kalamata olives. Oh, nice. yeah, got a spread just for you, bro. Yeah, I don't even have I don't even have that spread here right now, man. Give me them beats. We get yeah. fat, yeah, fat, three fat people over here. We, oh, we, you know, we, we get. We get have down. you guys ever had beats on a hamburger? Oh yeah. God oh, no. Oh. Yes. <laughs> also an egg. Yeah. yeah There's a place egg. in Nashville that does that. Yeah. Huh. I'm telling you, man. I don't like that's that. a real deal. Pickle uh, beats but... are not dirt. <laughs> yeah, I agree with Mark. Yeah. Miracle Mark. Oh, salsa. oh man. Big Vic. Yeah. Thank you, Miracle. Much appreciated for the super chat. Thank you. I had one of the spiciest salsas in my life that had pickled beets in it. Did mm. it really? Mm-hmm. It's good. Have, uh, yeah. what, habanero or something something spicier. I think they were uh Chile de Arbol. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That'll no, that'll be good. I don't know. Let me go see what I got in here. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Jen's going to take a walk down the condom aisle. Condom. Condiment. Condiment. Oh. My, my wife's got like pickled asparagus and, and pickled other shit in the freezer. <clears throat> I'm I would like, eat what that. The hell? Just give me a damn pickle. We can pickle yeah. that. I tried to I send mean, Dan some pickles tonight. They went to the wrong address. <laughs> and see, we thought it—we thought it was the address that we always ship stuff to. We gotta—we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get in the know. <laughs> yeah. Where did where did it really go? Yeah, the best address we have for Dan is Sagamore. So. It's <laughs> <laughs> mm, not a bad time. Whiskey nature growing beets. No, I gotta go to the store. Unfortunately, I only have I only have olives, no pickles, nothing else. Yeah, shame. I got pitted ones with pimentos in it. Oh, that's it. 
Yeah, you give me the pimentos all day. Hey, man, I tried. What's up, John? I said, oh, well, I said, I tried. Yeah, I know. When, when, I, when I get home, it'll be a surprise. <laughs> a salty surprise? 100%. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, guys, let, let's let's do this drawing here. Um, uh, Pico Pico de Gallo says Lance. Pick, pick Katie's like I'm sitting next to this guy. <laughs> I know. I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't even deal with him right now. Am I walking right. around with hoodie and flip flops? Cali Drams, I am walking around with hoodie and flip flops. No funny. I'm not getting my leg up that high right here, but. Oh, here come the games. What's, uh, nice. what's going on in the basketball game tonight? I'm rolling with Purdue. Yep, that's who I want to win. Back it on ice cream. Fuck you all pickled shit tonight, <laughs> says Mark M. Nucker. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Mm. You're doc? All right, so let's get into this. I got to make a wheel here real quick, guys. Um, I'm getting it now, Dan. Oh, okay. Thank yep. you. Ethan, Ethan's, Ethan's got it. Sweet. A few seconds. Thank you. You guys are good. Is the game All tonight right. the finals? Is it the, the last two Tonight games? is the men's finals, yes, for real. It is? Yeah. Okay. Private Ethan, chat there, Dan. Ethan's creating the wheel to make up for his uh, tasting notes he gave earlier. about The games. women's finals was yesterday. Joe <laughs> uh, uh, Rocco says, I had homemade pineapple ice cream, and now my palate Ooh. is bourbon. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds it happens. I love pineapple though, man. Well, all right. Let me share the screen here, guys. Again, thank you all for the super chats. We have nine samples tonight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine samples. Damn. Nine was, there samples there, was there a tenth one added? Tenth one? It was. Yeah, somebody, uh, Eric added a second one. One, two, three, four. Five. Corbin Cash. There is 10. Okay, yep. Got 10. Oh, You're right. yeah. Yeah. Um, You're right. Oh, man. All right. Uh, okay. Let me share the screen. What's up, Tommy? What's up? G, man. Cheers, brother. I finished it, John. Yes. Oh, there you go. Mm. Did you guys see the... All right, guys. Uh, so here the is the screen. screen. We're going to uh, randomize this a bunch of times. All right. So uh, we're going to start out with uh, the samples from Eric. Hey, Gunderson. hold up, Dan. So Eric, Dan, hold. Yeah. hold. Okay. Okay. Vic just put one at the last second just to screw with us. Oh, of course you did. No. <laughs> Fucking damn it. Hit and save. Give me 10 seconds and refresh your page. Just refresh right. it and don't add them. Refresh your page. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. He's already met his rig quota over the night by winning the championship. I mean, the, the, uh, the round. Oh, it will be on the championship, bro. Hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> what up, Jigs? Cheers, Jigs. Thanks. Thanks. I'm all feeling right. all right, bud. Yeah. Oops, let me hop back in here. Uh... Vic, Vic with the final description. I never win. Okay, Victor. I never, I never win. <laughs> <laughs> Lies. Lies. Here we go, guys. For Eric Gunderson's sample of the Middle West Spirits, the winner is... William Hall. Hey. William Hall. Awesome. William Hall. Congrats, Cheers, William. my friend. Yo, buddy. Congrats, William. Got that uh, Middle West Spirits pick from Eric Gunderson. Thank you, Eric, for donating that sample. Congratulations, Thanks, Eric. William. Next up is another sample from Eric Gunderson. This is a Corbin Cash pick. I think he said it was 121 proof, maybe. Here we go. Who is going to win it? Copper Wolf. I get Ajita with the wheel being cut off. EJ. EJ. Congrats, EJ. Congrats. Oh, where's where's the arrow? Where, where is the one that's showing is the winner's name? 
It doesn't it's show it. on the top. Is it the top. arrow's at the very top. Dan zoomed in for some reason. Okay. Just curious. I was just curious. That's all. What happened? What I do? Nothing. Nothing all right. We are going to do a sample from uh, John over at J Cells, Boston. This is a sample of Blanton's, guys. Blanton's straight from the barrel, 133.6 proof. Uh oh. Here we go. In it to win it. Who's got it? Killer. Oh, big, big. Oh, me. big, big. Big dick. Z oh, Man. All right. Z Man. man. Not all. No. So John's yeah. actually going to deliver that via horseback. No, he's not. <laughs> 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 all right. Don, Don, Don you, get, you, you can get my contact info from uh, Dusty Dan. You got it. John, you can just mail it to me, then I'll forward it to Z Man. <laughs> Congrats, Z Man. Appreciate it, brother. Uh, I just sent out your package earlier today, so. Um, you get another one from uh, uh, John. Yeah, I'll look for it. Uh, all right, guys, this is for another sample of the Blanton straight from the barrel. Who is it? It's gonna win it. I love olives. <laughs> Lance, nice. Lance. Lance. Which Lance? Sis. It is. It is Lance. Lance. Boston Lance. Boston Lance. Boston. Lance. Boston. Boston. Yeah, his accent, like, dude, I, I got a New England accent, but his is. Oh, man, I, I love Lance. Lance is great. <laughs> his accent is. <laughs> holy moly. It's the departed on steroids. <laughs> departed, yeah. like, in the town. Yep. <laughs> ben Lance is a good guy, man. Great guy. Well, I, know. Yeah. I, I might have to make a trip north and hand deliver that one. I've got some bottles to run up to a couple people. Yeah, we Brad Lance there. for winning that. Um, all right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get into the uh, sample of the uh, Four Roses, the old school Al Young bottle. Here we go. This is Who's where you pick my name, Dan. Is that an 80 <laughs> or a 90 proof, Dan? Um, oh, Jay. Yeah. EJ. EJ, get This is, I think it's 86. 80, okay. Yes, 86 proof. EJ. And it was, it, it was, it was, I'm sorry, bottled. By Four Roses in Louisville, Kentucky, Lawrenceburg, Indiana, and Baltimore, Maryland. Over at the old Seagram's Distillery. There you go. You yep. said it was bottled in all three places? Is that what you said? All three, yeah. Huh. I never yep. heard of that. So, Lawrenceburg, uh, how does, how does Louisville, that and Baltimore. Do they ship a tote to three different cities? <laughs> well, they have. Um, I think they have. They had distilleries all across the place. Like uh, the one in Indiana is the old MGP. Um, the one in Baltimore is the old Seagrams, and then the one in Lawrenceburg. Oh, small batch. Yeah, right. That, that I'm, I'm not, not sure where that one was, but. Got it. Ooh, excuse me. Okay. Um. All right. So EJ <laughs> won that sample of the Four Roses. Congrats, EJ. That's two samples coming to you. Next one for the Four Roses Old School Al Young is Ali Drams. Yay. There you go. Is it Jake or Jack? Sorry. I know it's Jace. It's Jake. Jake. Right? It is Jake. Jake. Yep. I just said Jake's stuff. I don't know if you got That's it already, Jake. but it's definitely on the way. Cheers, brother. Congrats. All right, guys, so we got four samples left. We're going to go ahead and do the 1955 Kentucky Tavern bottled and bonds, old pineapple bottle. Mm. Yes. We like pineapple. <laughs> that bottle is gorgeous. Thank you. Yes, oh, wow. Lance. 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 All right. Awesome. It was nice. Nice. Congrats, Lance. Damn. All right. There you go. Congrats, my friend. Plants. All right, guys. So let's do – we'll do the sample of the 1914 Greenbrier next. This is pre-prohibition. Um, yeah, I mean, how do you 1914 even to 1933. 
Jesus. I'm only going to have probably an ounce of this whiskey left after this. So, Whoa. Nine years. Wait, 1914 to 1933? 1933. 1933. Yeah, they put it in vats. William Hall. Holy one crap. Oh, wow, a lot of double winners. Oh, congrats, William Hall. Three double winners? Yeah. Oh, Rigged. 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 All right, Z-Man, you're up. <laughs> don't, 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 say, don't say that damn stop. word. Stop, stop, don't stop, stop, dare. stop. <laughs> All right, guys. So we leave the uh, the Pappy 15 year for last. I have about a 200 milliliter left of this um, this Pappy. So um, one sample Pappy 15 year goes to this is a 2017 Pappy 15, by the way. So it was distilled in 2002. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you were moving, EJ? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Holy crap! Wow, what a That's night, cool. guy. That's crazy. I'm, I'm removing. I'm removing every entry after they win too. So, uh, wow. It's just his night. That's a good thing. Congrats. Jesus. Congrats. All right, guys. Oh. Last sample. Pappy 15 goes to. Wow. The tramp. Kelly <laughs> 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 Graham. Hey, yeah. Another winner. Oh, yeah. Yes. Kelly Graham is this rig. That's crazy. That's the first time I've ever seen that happen. Dude, for shits and giggles, spin yeah. it one more time. I know he wins. I just want to see if it would have been another. All right, let's see. Yeah, let me let me spin What's it. What's going on today? Holy! What the problem is, you didn't randomize it enough. Darrell. Yeah, we need yeah. Jeff yeah. to get on and say forty-seven <laughs> randomizes. It's gonna be a duplicate. Chuck, Chuck, oh, Chuck, yeah. name. All right, sorry, Chuck. All right. Chuck, Chuck D, I'll, 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 I'll send, send me your address, Chuck D. I'll send you something for the hell of it. That's crazy. Hidden Barn. You seem like four and a half. <laughs> you got Hidden Barn coming to you, Chuck. You know, Chuck, e- email me, Instagram me, uh, whatever. I'll send you something. Yeah, Hidden Barn. Super um, okay. Cheers, y'all. Thank you all again for the, uh, the super chats. Much appreciated. Congrats to the winners. He'll give away something. Uh, refund. Three winners. <laughs> refund. Nick was on the line. Card company. I didn't charge. Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. Hold on a second. So, uh, so Lance said I'll give away two Cavalon Port store pick samples. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay. Wow. All right, Lance. All right, one and second. Let me let me picks? hop back on here. I yeah, he sure popped that one. Good. He popped that one on Saturday. He said that shit was phenomenal. What is it? I saw him open that one. Yeah. Cavalon is a Taiwanese. 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 Yeah. I only had one pour of a, a finished one, and it was very All right, sweet. so let me, let me share this screen again, guys. So these are going to be two samples from Lance uh, of Cavalon Port store pick samples. That's freaking amazing. Dan, you're not right. on screen. All right. Yeah, I'm not? No. Nope, oh, yeah. Not. I didn't, I didn't uh, unshare the screen yet. Sorry. Uh, okay. Here we go. Still not. All right, guys. Here we go. That's right. And he randomized this stuff 47 times. Ooh. Here we go. Two samples from Lance. <laughs> Of Just Cavalon Port Finished. <laughs> <Chuck. Yeah. laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah. It's sticking to the theme. Dude, this wheel is broken tonight. <laughs> oh my God. Chuck D. Chuck D, you're definitely getting something now. <laughs> wow. All right. That's why. Congrats, Chuck D. Let's go. One, one more sample here from. Uh, um, from Lance, guys, uh, second sample of the Cavalon port finished goes. If this two. is going to go through, this is going to be Chuck D again. I'm an Ecker. It's going to be a new person. It's going to be a new person. <laughs> B-Man. <laughs> B-Man. No, it's not. B-Man. Rigged. Okay. It is rigged. rigged. <laughs> For the first time ever in life, something's rigged. <laughs> is that wow. the double win? That That's a double win. win. Yeah. No, yeah, I think he won three. No, oh. Z-Man got two. Everybody who won something tonight won multiples. EJ is trying to make sure that doesn't happen. Lance, get my, get, <laughs> get my, get my contact in the phone from Dan. Oh, he's trying to yep, throw in a sample. Gotcha. <laughs> Appreciate it, brother. Well, guys, EJ, EJ is throwing runner. a sample. Sorry, guys. Yep, EJ is doing a Frey Ranch uh, cast strength single barrel sample. That's <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, hold on. Hey, really cool. go back to the the hell's going on? Um, all right. What the heck? All right, let me randomize it. So who who's doing a sample? EJ. EJ is doing a sample of Frey Ranch. A Frey Ranch, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what happened? EJ. Somebody put in 
somebody put an algorithm into this wheel to stop Vic from winning finally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eric Gunderson, there we go. There we go. There we go. There you go. That's better. Cheers, Eric. Holy crap. Cheers, Eric. That is from EJ. That is a Frey Ranch pick. That was a it's wild, definitely wild night. great today, Mark. All those I've pulls never, I've media. never seen that happen on a wheel before, man. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Thank you all for uh, for donating to these samples to give away, and also thank you all for the super chats. Much appreciated, guys. Uh, well, look at everybody getting rigged. <laughs> if you're not first class, uh, it's like twelve spins and like literally <laughs> five winners. Yeah, that's what impossible. Honestly, yeah. that's crazy. Congratulations, five we broke winners. math. <laughs> Literally, dude. Yeah. Uh, Eric understand he'll do another sample of the D team. Oh, what? <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. All right. They're making Ethan work tonight. He's putting this down because I've wrote. I, I have all. Kinds oh yeah, of we have it all down. Yeah. Okay. Dan's it. paper pen has a lot of ink. Yeah. Uh, Eric. Eric, Eric always donates to others all the time. So, so, oh, yeah. Yeah. Eric, Eric, Eric's phenomenal. If One Eric of the most generous people I know. I agree. All right, so can you guys still see the wheel? Yeah. 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 Okay. All right, guys, Eric. so this is for the sample of the D team from Eric Gunderson. Can, much appreciated, Eric. Eric. Thank you so much. Eric, this package we'll do, is, meant, is yeah. meant for you. I just don't know when I'll actually get it to a post office. <laughs> we'll run to run another duplicate. Top Oh, new guy. Cobb, no, oh, Cobb, nice. Cobb Wolf, the Champ Ryan. There you go. There's a new Congrats. winner. Cheers, Copper Wolf. Congrats, brother. Awesome. All right, guys. Thank you all for, uh, again, for, for donating to this. And uh, thank you all for the Super Chats. Again, much, much appreciated. Um, let me yes. figure out how to get myself back on the screen here. Uh, Turn the camera on. There you go. <laughs> Back on now. All I see is the, all I see is the wheel. <laughs> all right, so stop. Turn the screen. camera. <laughs> there. Start a new thing. Yeah. Gina, what right. are you drinking? I'm gonna drink you an Evan Williams small batch American beer. <laughs> Lance oh, says, uh, "Send him the info on who won the bottle the other night." I was trash. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I got it. All right. That was me, right? <laughs> nope, it wasn't you. <laughs> <laughs> Good try, Good awesome. Yeah, thank you all for doing that. That's greatly appreciated, guys. Thank you. Got a lot of a lot of shit to send out. Think of that. That's the good stuff. Olives away. I want yeah. myself this last glass. This is uh this is the NBC Barrels for Hope NBC. Oh, nice. Bro, you like that one? My favorite whiskey of the year. Is it really? It is. <laughs> yeah. It was tasty. I was lucky enough to taste it. So damn yeah, good. These, these newer NBC picks are just fantastic. Yeah. Darrell, I'm bringing one that um, you may like even more. Really? Uh, time Did you, off. you didn't see the... Oh, wait, do I cut your... I do like your number. I'll show Thank you a bottle that I grabbed. Thanks, Travis. Which bottle is it, Adam? It's the time off. Time off. Oh, oh nice, dude. Mm. Eric, I, I got you, buddy. I'll send you Ryan's address. Yeah, that will let, let me let me zoom in Beautiful. on it. What Come series? Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Thirteen. Thirty-two. Thirteen. Come on. So, there we go. Sure. So, well, you already finished half that damn thing, Adam. It's mostly samples. I uh probably I text I, uh, I can bring that Simpson Davenport and Hans. Please do. <laughs> I can bring that so good. That. Yeah, Adam, that one was real good. That time yeah. off. Yeah, that was good. Oh, time off. I don't think I tried the time off yet. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh. Simpson Davenport and Hines is pretty good. I'm I'm gonna bring that. Hell yeah. What do you was that on the website? So Tom Harper says it was here, sitting for a while. Yeah. It may still be. I'm not sure. I can probably send the link. Let me check. Which um, one? It's a Lauren Simpson seven year NBC from that same Barrels of Hope run. Oh, you gave me a sample of that. 
Yes, I poured. Yeah, I poured you a sample of that. That's really good. Tommy D says he's gonna be in Okinawa. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like Tommy be in Okinawa. My wife. Yeah, my wife's Okinawa. Nice. How often did you go there? The last time I was there was 2016. Though. So. Right, so it's been a still on there. Yeah, I, I was stationed there for 12 years. I was about to text it to you. And then we you got, got it. What was that, Tommy? Yeah, yeah, I got it. <clears throat> Tommy, I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry. I was stationed there for 12 years, and then what? Been, been in the states here for 20, and she wants to finally go back. Nice. Yeah. Does she got family out there, Tommy? Oh yeah, her 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 parents are still alive, and uh, brother and sister. I know. <coughs> the only thing holding oh, me here is my like awesome, my man. kids and my brother. So. Bro. Uh, Tom Harper says, "Tommy, did you, did you learn Kempo? Kempo? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but my my wife knows Kendo. So she's <laughs> Kendo. Well, then Kata. <laughs> uh, yes, Tom Harper. I have had the WB Saffle. The I, wax on. Wax I like on. WB Saffle. To be honest with you, I can't remember what the price was. It was a sixty bucks for that little bottle, three seventy five, right? Yeah, yep. sixty bucks for a three hundred fifty milliliter. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I'd probably buy it again. To be honest, uh, I, I don't, I, would, I don't ever I see it around here, but. Uh, people people don't want to promote it because it's so small and it's pricey. So yeah, it is, it is. yeah. It, I mean, it was really good though. I I enjoyed it. Yeah. We buy it when we see it. Mm -hmm. Do you see those a lot, Ethan, around you? The no. samples. We saw them at Christmas down in Louisiana, and we bought all but one. Yeah. And they only have three. Let me rephrase. They only have three. I'll be down in <laughs> Louisiana yeah. uh, last week of. April in the beginning of May. Okay. Flying to Tokyo. You know, you, you know the bad thing is that you're looking for a fucking bottle like this thing. I have not seen this anywhere. I went to the grocery store and I grabbed three bottles of it and I left one bottle on the shelf for the next person. Mm -hmm. And now I want more. <laughs> now, 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 now I want more. Yeah. yeah, our local had the handles of it. I think mm -hmm. I'm on my third one. The it's Heroes just, Edition? Yeah. That's delish, man. Heaven Hill makes good stuff. Yeah. They, they just do. I mean, even regular 1783, it's it's hard to beat the value on that bottle. Yeah, it's 21 bucks. Yep. Yeah. Not even a great blend. That's so cheap. 21 expensive. Yeah. God, that bottle's so good, man. Mm. It's I actually... I have last it's year's. Actually, it's actually better than this hot garbage. Okay. Z man, I might have told you that when you were had a few and you didn't didn't like me for saying trash dock and buffalo trace. No. I, uh, ben bought what did he buy? A case, if not more? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so I, 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 I knew it was out there. Uh, he has a specific that. name for that case. It's called oh, floor, floor whiskey. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> I got no floor whiskey in here, man. Everything's on a shelf or it's in a closet where it belongs. Nice, Jigs. Cheers, brother. Good to see you, Jigs. Which turkey product does it remind you of most, says Tom Harper? Uh, what, that whiskey or? Yeah, the, the, the Saffle. What, what turkey product does it remind you of the most? I, I don't know. I don't, um, yeah, I don't you know, know either. I've had a couple of like Russell single barrels that kind of that <laughs> feel similar. But for the out for normal offering, it's oakier than than most turkey that you get. Yeah. Yep. I, I'd Rance. say it's to be honest with you, it's almost oakier than some of those ten years. The the ten years it stuff. Is. It's oakier than a yeah. lot of them. Yeah. There's only a few uh, of the ten years that it's been like, okay, this tastes like saffle. Yeah. Um, I don't. That that's a that's a tough question. I don't know. Yeah. I can't really compare it with anything. I mean, not not even the – well, the 12 years may be oaky enough for that, but it's maybe too oaky. Some of the older Masters keeps, I could say. That Yeah, that's a good call. Yeah, good call on that. I don't have any of the newer ones, though. I have the 17-year, the, the, the Bottle and Bond, and then the, um, the first Oloroso Sherry one, I think it was. 
Mm. I think. I, th- I think it's that one. If, if not, it's the second Olorosa Sherry release. I can't remember. The Decades? Was it Decades? Decades, I think. Yeah. No, yeah. Uh, was it dec- no, Decades? I don't think Decades. I thought Decades was the old stuff, like the 10, 20. Yeah, Decades had up to 20 in it. Yeah. What yeah. was the Sherry finish? Sherry was the um, Revival. Revival, that's... Yeah. Revival? Yeah. Right. Jeff loves that one. I wasn't a big fan of that one. That's like my least favorite. Your least favorite was Revival? Yeah, out of those. Like, it, it put me the wrong way when I had it. I only fed a sample, but I didn't I didn't care for it much. Decades is probably my favorite, though. I gave my Decades to Blake. Never tried it. It's it's good. Decades and the original 17-year, like the lower proof one. I think it was like 86 proof, I think, or something like that. But it was it was really good. <clears throat> Darrell, what does that Barrels for Hope uh, NBC pick remind you of? Greatness. I don't know. It's just... It's so good. Like some of those picks, like your pick, the stuff in Wissy, like they're all like what I liked with Houdini, but just kicked up a notch on like every level, like proof point, freaking mid, like everything about it. Got proof, it. mid, front, back, flavor is all turned up a notch, but it retains that same profile, which is nice with NBC. Mm-hmm. It doesn't remind me, I don't think, of anything per se. It's just really freaking good, dude. <laughs> really good. I'm like halfway through my bottle, unfortunately. I don't know if it's because of the olives, but I got a weird like cotton candy note on that. It's yeah. olives. That is weird. It's fruity. Like I can maybe like I would have to taste it to see if I get cotton candy, but I can't just throw that out the window. It could potentially be there. You'd have to uh, eat an olive first and actually know. <laughs> I would not drink it though. I do. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't think my palate's in the right place, but it, I definitely got cotton candy on the first sip there. So barrels of hope and bur- bourbon and olives. It's it's like a cotton candy martini, is what you're saying. We should all go home and make that. It's right. it's something. That was weird though. That's why I asked Darrell. I was like, wait a second, what, what do you get on this? <laughs> crazy. A little dash of pimento. So, I know that um I'll be getting samples from uh I, I I'm really excited to do the the ascots this year. I know it's I know people are kind of up in the air about that, but I'm getting a hundred samples from them this year, so it's gonna be Jesus very different. A hundred? A hundred, yeah. Can you do all hundred samples on screen, spitting them out and make yourself some jackass list too? Oh yeah. you got my text Adam? I will be I will be wasted if it's <laughs> I'll sorry. have to have Ethan hop on the screen and save me. Oh, it will definitely be off the record. Can we stream it and call cool. it a sample night? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sample? Oh, Jesus. You should do it yeah. Patreon only. Yeah, yeah I, can do, I can do that. So I, I believe they're set to arrive when I'm in Indy doing the back row pick. Um, you could they only, they, when only are you doing the Indy pick? 20 days. So... <laughs> Jake says 100 samples, hopefully, in one night. That'd be amazing. You can name it after a Scorpions rock song called Blackout, I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> Jake says, hello, couch, my old friend. <laughs> uh, I'll be seeing you again. Yeah. yeah. I want a blackout. There you, there you go, Z-Man. You nailed it. Um, <laughs> want a blackout. I, you know, it's, it's crazy, though. I, I did take uh, – I, I took it very seriously last year. Um was it good? So, I mean, I, I thought I put in a lot of good tasting notes and stuff like that, and you know, they they clipped some of my uh, my tasting notes samples and put it on their their site. So you know, maybe maybe they upped it for me. That's a lot. That's a lot. I'm, I'm excited to do it though. I'm very excited to do it. So free whiskey, shit. Yes, <laughs> it is. It is. It is free whiskey. A lot of it. Samples, Jesus. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I still have. Every sample, but maybe three from the last bunch they sent me. Every that single sounds, sample. That sounds like a, a leftover sample pack giveaway for next week. Yeah. That's a great idea, John, actually. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Get some shit uh, off your floor. I have, to, I have to make sure I find the key for it, though, because I don't know what everything was off the top of my head. That'd so. be even better. Don't send the key. 
Dan, you could make an infinity blend out of those samples. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, you talking about we might have gone too far there. That's going to be smoky. Yeah, you make that infinity blend and send it to, to Jay. Yeah, put some Andy yeah. Rana staves in it while you're at it. <laughs> That's so funny. Lance says, D-Man, don't forget you owe me a sample of that extra special light beer. That <laughs> <laughs> uh, doing great stuff. Glad to have them here in Indy. Yeah, William. It's um, so I, I don't know what I don't know what we all have planned, Turks in, in Indy. I don't know if we're doing a bottle share somewhere. Because going out I mean, to I'm lunch. I mean, I'm sure we could do one uh, at the Airbnb, you know, just to make it easy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you guys wouldn't, Andy, might <clears throat> check out Circle <throat> City <throat> Fortune's Fool. What is that? What is it? I assume that's uh, a. I'm assuming they're bars. Uh, casinos? Yeah, casinos. Yeah, casinos or bars. Something. Okay. I'm always down to go to a strip club. I mean, what bar? The hmm? double churro. Whatever. Yeah, the double I mean, if you guys are going there, I mean, I might have to come down to Indy. <laughs> I'm in a bar. Oh, need a good one. Okay. Okay. Mm. So Circle City is a distillery, and then Fortune's mm. Fool is a distillery. Interesting. Mm. Well, you oh, email, email me. Email me your info so I can reach out when we're there. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then you could have a brisket. Brad's brass. <laughs> <laughs> The brisket that was supposed to be at Pores. <laughs> Brad's Brass Flamingo sounds like a male strip club. <laughs> oh, God. No, I think that would be like the Flaming Peacock. <laughs> okay, I'll do the brisket. <laughs> By the way, there's, there's going to be pickles oh, at both of those places, oh, man. <laughs> I'm sold. I heard brisket. Come on. Brisket does sound good right now. Why does it do this every time? Yes. But Thursday is probably ideal, right? The first night or Friday? Thursday, Friday? Maybe more so Friday. Actually, no. Friday's the pick, right? We right well, back. Yeah. Friday's yeah. the pick, yeah. They just got to email me a time. They didn't. Uh, I got to reach back out to Sam. He said he was going to email me with uh, a dead set time on the pick, but he hasn't yet. So, uh, Whiskey Saint, I still have some top secret. That's sample for you. I've been holding out because I thought we would meet up, but I'm just going to send it this week, says Lance. Nice. You got my info? Uh, you probably do. I think I've sent you stuff already. William, William Hall says no, no mails there. <laughs> I appreciate you, Matt. So, Darrell, you're going out to Kelly in June, too, right? Yeah, my birthday. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a June birthday as well. When in June? 16th. I'm a Gemini. I know you're not a Gemini. No, a few days after. Well, not yeah. a little more than that, but 24th. I will celebrate Here's your June. birthday too, Dusty. Yeah, that'd be that'd be fun. Um, you said it is the 21st to the 23rd, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Friday through Sunday, Thursday. Hey, man, you should all be talking about September, man, at Bardstown. <laughs> I'll be there too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. So Tom Harper said, "Big Vic, that's the most American sign I've ever seen. Uh, it's just missing the guns and the NASCAR." Yeah, <laughs> and it belongs in and it belongs in Tennessee. <laughs> Maybe soon enough. Maybe soon enough. California friendly. I honestly, man, I, I'd move from the East Coast to the to to Tennessee. I don't like the East Coast, man. Come on down. It's yep. still the East Coast, isn't it? I mean, no, Central. How's yeah. that Central? It depends where in Tennessee. That's true. Right? The best place to be in Tennessee by us. <laughs> West Tennessee. <laughs> and Adam? Yeah, yeah, come to Middle Tennessee. We've got plenty of space. <laughs> Middle Tennessee. Yeah. Uh, Callie Dram says, ain't no party like a West Coast party. Uh, I love the West Coast. Man. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Some I, beautiful I places on the West Coast for sure, man. Weather, scenery, beaches, yeah. Yeah. food. Weather, weather is hard to beat out there. Well, come on, man. Don't get me. We got good food here, but still, like, there's so much more. On the West I'm talking about the vegetables and your love for the couch. Come on, man. 
<laughs> it's too late. There's no filter right now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, goodness. Anywhere east of the Mississippi is a great place. Uh, no, no, east of Memphis. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Anywhere east of Memphis. <laughs> I mean, it's not right? far off, but it's, it, there's a different connotation there. <laughs> I kind of like Memphis, but... Oh, excuse me. I'm rare, I guess. I'm Harper says California people always mention taco trucks. Wait for it. <laughs> I got a good taco truck. <laughs> I say wait for it. There you go. And 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 happiness. Like there's, there's plenty of decent places like to go in Memphis, but you don't want to live in Memphis. Well, that's why I like right? it. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like you, people don't yeah. want to live in Memphis though. Isn't no, Memphis right, like the highest crime rate in the country or top five? Allegedly. <laughs> no, not California. Hey, better since you left. <laughs> Lance says Maine, Maine is a awesome. book except the uh, uh, they tax retirement. Yeah, Maine's Maine's oh. beautiful, man. The scenery. Oh, yeah, yeah Maine is outstanding. Yeah. Oh, tax really retirement. Cool? Yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> that's the craft, the best craft beer in the country is up there. Yeah, yeah. Drink beer. Well, that's why you weren't there. You haven't been there. <laughs> Some of the best seafood too. Main lobster is no joke. Did you say pizza? Seafood. seafood. Oh, lobster. Yeah. For the best pizza. Lobster. Oh what? Lobster. Lobster with an H, motherfucker. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, got some more of this. Lobster Love pizza. Yep. I would eat that. Oh, yeah, that when we were up there, thing? we uh we happened to find this place that apparently is like a local a local place um, that's south of Portland. <laughs> And it was the last day of the season they were open. And Did you recall the so name? Uh, oh, shit. Uh, Chauncey's. Chauncey's, yeah. Chauncey's. I've been up to Maine about 12 times, which means I've eaten about 60 times up there. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Chauncey's, Chauncey Creek Lobster Pier. Yep. Nice. Is that in right Orleans on the Beach or Bitterford? John, how are you, how you doing with your workout, man? Good? That's good, man. You know, it's the laying down the last two weeks that's been the problem. I've somehow managed to get work at, uh, workouts in. Right you still being consistent with it, though? Uh, I am. It's just, you know, I haven't been 100%. So yeah. each day is getting better now, though. Good. 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 Yep. Good. Good here, brother. California, just my opinion. I'd probably agree with you, Jake. I, I, I agree with you on that, man. Hard to Hard to beat. Hey man, it was 68 degrees here in Massachusetts. You know what that means? Not the Time most Mexicans out here, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought there were some Owens. No. Uh, wow. Is. Okay. Oh, <laughs> damn. Damn. I expect that from your hubby. <laughs> All right, what the fuck? Old <laughs> 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 Uh, Next thing you know, somebody making somebody making dick jokes, sounding like a jerk off. (laughs) There's there's, there's great Mexican food in Arizona too, but there's yes, yes, there's great Mexican food everywhere. Dude, we went to this place in Tucson for uh, breakfast burritos. Insane. Mm. That sounds so good. I'm a I'm a I'm a born and raised Tucson boy. My dad retired out of Davis Mountain Air Force. Oh really? So you've been out there your whole life? Filibertos. Yeah. Filibertos. Yeah. You ever been to Filibertos? Yeah. 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 That shit yeah. was dope. And you yeah. say those are the best burritos you've ever had? Best breakfast mm-hmm. burritos. You need to come your ass down here, Cali, bro. Oh, <laughs> no. Breakfast burritos. You want Texas? Texas well, there's barbecue. Some, there, there, there's burritos. some mom and pop shops that you need to go to. They're Look, not- man, I, I say the countdown starts now. Everyone door dashes their best burritos right mm-hmm. now on screen. All mine are closed. It's after 10. <laughs> we we can't don't get door dash. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> door dash. Mm-hmm. Everything is closed because it's ten o'clock. That's not a good. I don't. This is the Bible Belt, sir. Yeah. So John, well, ne- John, next time you do a live, be prepared to answer the door. All right. As a best oh, burrito, right shit. there. Oh, you're eating a foot. That's two servings, bro. It did look like. A- it did look like. 
<laughs> I'm still processing it. I'm like, okay, all right. Fucking dead over here. <laughs> That's a baby. Yeah. That's a baby weight. <laughs> Thanks to yourself, sir. I, I I need to I need to see that again. I need to understand that that was not a film. <laughs> you eat it sideways. This thing is massive. Dude, it's fucking it's called the super burrito, like fucking this big. But side put like five five tortilla shells together. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna oh, go what? that way. What? Do it again? <laughs> yeah, one more time. <laughs> you ain't gonna do this shit. You're gonna go sideways. Flip it. Flip it. I never so, ate a burrito yeah. sideways, though, no. though. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're gonna kink the neck on the you gotta, motherfucker. You gotta come at it at this angle. <laughs> There's some folks in Mexico that make the best. Uh, there's no great Mexican food in Cleveland. Go figure. Yeah. <laughs> there's there's nothing good in Cleveland. Uh, you showed us how you held it. How do you get your mouth around it? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Change the jaw a little bit. Those, yeah. those gorditas last week, Vic. Those were some. Those shits gorditas. were scary. Oh, no. <laughs> those were massive ass fucking gorditas. Those were good. Is that the Grand Ronier donut? Well. It might Taco be. Get the gordito. <laughs> We ordered Mexican when we were there. Well, yeah. I kind of went a little bit heavy on the Mexican. We ordered the whole store. Yeah. <laughs> we ordered like fucking nine tortas and ten gorditas. God damn, that was a shit ton of food for like three days. I actually had that last, uh, no, it was, it was different. It was a torta from La Fiesta I had tonight. He wanted, oh, nice. he wanted to see how they compared. They must use the same bread. It was the same bread for sure. Yeah. Uh, it was so good, man. Like it's spongy, but not too much. Yeah. It oh, soaked Jesus up all Christ. the flavor. It was spot that's on. A, Jesus, I ate two tortillas, barbacoa, and uh, dude, dude, how good was that fucking oh, barbacoa? It was very good. Yeah. Oh. I hate that's these late night nights. Because you got to get there and they do all sorts of weird shit. Yeah. Well, well so we got a good Mexican spot Tuesday. with the Turks. To have good ass barbacoa. Yep. Yeah. Honestly, Where's that? In Tennessee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when I, when, when I went out there. Nice. Look, anywhere you have farms, you're going to have good Mexican food. Oh, Correct. yeah. I agree. Yep. Yep. Especially, Especially when like you order in Spanish. Same mm-hmm. thing. I get my tortillas in Arizona from a farmer in Mexico. And he charges me two dollars a tortilla, and they are so fucking delicious. And they're like white, 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 white. And you, is you it a uh, corn or flour tortilla? They're flours. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't I I've never really liked corn, corn tortillas. It's always got to be flour. Flours like Maker's Mark flours. Yeah. Oh wow, uh, they're white. They're so thin. They're tasty as hell, man. Yeah. You I'm a corn tortilla. Uh, they're, they're just, like, they're just like beer. Yeah. I make yes. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Love it. yeah. I make okay. birria. Yeah, my okay. mama taught me how to make birria. <coughs> I got a great really? place. I here. mean, if I'm gonna come to California to help you all celebrate, I'm gonna need to know what's on the menu, Vic. I'm gonna need that. <laughs> that ain't gonna be on the menu for you, bro. Gumbo's mm-hmm. gonna be on the menu, right? Gumbo's on the menu. Barbecue's <laughs> gonna be on the menu. Oh, it's barbecue. Yeah. Ed's <laughs> barbecue. Yeah. Ed's barbecue. Real barbecue. The pit Tom boss says, Boston translations. If someone's looking for their their khakis, <laughs> it could be their pants or their car keys. Khakis. Oh, definitely car keys. <laughs> khakis. Khakis. Car keys. Khakis. Uh, you know what? Right? That's that, like where the car keys were a while. That might while be a good idea. Watch. Have some beer yeah. for you guys for Friday and shit. Oh, yeah. That would be cool. Don't Taco forget the consomme. Not, no, it's not. Taco <laughs> I don't do it with 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 consomme. Mine is a little no. bit more drier. Okay. But it's fucking full of flavor. What is it called? Birria. Birria. Oh, okay. Well, sure. well the Jews? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the no, Jew is yeah, called consomme. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking yeah. about. Vic, are you more of a flour or corn guy? Tortilla. Corn? Both. Both? Corn. Mm. Chilaquiles. There's a there's a weird shit. I'll eat chilaquiles. They're made out of flour. I mean corn with a flour tortilla. Oh, okay. That's that's like that's Team Fat USA right there. I like that. That's, that's Viva Mexico, cabrones. Yeah. That's what it, is. <laughs> it, 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 depends on, it, it depends on what protein you're in that in the shell. I have a need to adios meal. 
<laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I said. <laughs> well, I, I know what you said. <laughs> YouTube know what you knows what you said too. Oh, Jake! <laughs> Jake's gonna come out right now with his fucking translation and shit. <laughs> it's a good I got a good tamale place. <laughs> uh, I'm yeah. picking the tamales. Hmm. Yeah. My mom. I get my I get my shit from somebody that home cooks over there, and I'll give them the meat, and they put it all together. See, the uh, thing is that when you buy tamales, masa. they make their masa they or they do it too grainy. Mm-hmm. And my mama mm-hmm. fucking makes it like smooth and shit, greasy really? mm-hmm. smooth. Yeah, it that, should be smooth. And it's like, like real it's fine, good. fucking grained. Mm-hmm. Uh, and dude, fucking amazing shit. I love tamales. Yeah, Dre says, Vic, make sure you translate for these. <laughs> <laughs> the gringos, yeah. Oh goodness. Is Jake Hispanic? Oh. Kelly Jones. It was really know. funny mm-hmm. at um yeah, at the the our, one of our local places. Uh, Vic walked in. The guy started speaking Spanish to him, and Vic went, "Oh no, I don't speak Spanish." <laughs> <laughs> no habla español. I was fucking playing with that guy. That guy was talking to my wife in Spanish. Yeah, yeah. And trying to talk to your kids Spanish. in Spanish. <laughs> and the mm-hmm. kids were genuinely confused. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, no Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the chili killes. <laughs> no, j- j- uh, my wife told my son, you like you want a asada quesadilla, and he's like, no, I want steak. It's the same shit, Aww. boy. <laughs> there you go. Uh, asada is- what up, Cheech? Yeah, man, get better, dude. Cheech. Cheers, Cheech. Hey, Cheech. Oh, Oh, fucking Ed. Ed. (laughs) Kind of late for the giveaway, buddy. (laughs) You think? Cheers, Ed. Oh, my goodness. Ed Williams with a a fifty dollars super chat. Look at these beautiful people here on the screen. Cheers, y'all. Cheers, man. Get Could in here, Ed. Off the ticker down the bottom, uh, guys. For, for that. Oh, speaking of sexy people. Uh, oh, it's Verbeck. What up, Ben? Look at that hair. Look at that hair. I'm so jealous. It? Majestic. Feeling the flow. I run my hands through that all day, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so, cheers, Ben. Good to see you, bud. Yeah, how's it going? Good. How's it going? Ed Ed Williams, thank you, man, for for that super chat. Much appreciated, buddy. Thank you. Very an adventure, and I'm trying to figure out where the adventure goes from here. (laughs) Choose your own. You staying out there, Ben? How kinky do you want to get, Ben? You're not in a mental hospital, right? I'm not sure what I'm doing next. (laughs) Yet. (laughs) I honestly don't know. Can you get off the couch if you tried? I'm on the I'm in an Airbnb bed right now. Oh, okay. Because we're kind of we're kind of winding down here. We packed up the cars, you know. It's like the sexy like, day right there, you know. Took literally just loaded like 500 plus bottles, you know the usual. Are you the robbing usual. a liquor store? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> You we're, you know, we're we're finding, you know, orphan bottles, new homes. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. Crossing <laughs> state lines. Let's admit it on TV. <laughs> I'm yeah, still in the same state. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, boar tucky. <laughs> boar tucky. Interstate travel. Yeah, boar Trafficking. Yeah. Uh, you know, I remember that the next time some guy named Jonathan wants, uh, you know, Bottles of early times. Oh. oh, I got that covered now, Ben. You're out. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm I'll, give him, yeah. I'll give him to somebody else. That's cool. I'll take him. Hey, how you doing, bud? Yes. Good. How, how's it going? Good, I need bud. some black tops. Hey, ben, cheers, you really man. don't know where you're going next? No, I honestly don't. Ben, are you in Kentucky? Yes, I'm in Louisville right now. What the fuck, man? And just stay what for a couple days. Hang out with us. <clears throat> I would, except for apparently there's not not enough room, so I oh, gotta find man. a place. 
<laughs> and, uh, or get an air mattress. I mean, that's an option, but I was told that wasn't an option, so we'll see. Air you mattress like a toe hitch? I didn't say an air mattress wasn't an option. I just said there was no couches. <laughs> All the couches are full. We got floors. <laughs> You can snuggle up with me on the couch. I was gonna no, say, don't tease, me. Don't, me, don't tease me with a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Although our hair might act as uh, Velcro and we might get stuck. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's so sexy. Oh, I love it. <laughs> what it was. It's also I have to figure out timing. There's uh, yeah. you know, there's some things at play. <laughs> I mean, you're running an orphanage. Yeah. What? No, oh, there's wow. there's there's other things at play that you know all factor in. So it is yeah. what it is. So well, hopefully you can make it to Indy, but or back to Indy, I should say, because you were there. Yeah, yeah. Were I mean, I, I mean, I mean, if you know, you guys pick right. I already picked your barrel, so you know. Wow. <laughs> we all need to go get kicked out of St. Elmo's. Is that, that reward? No one's gonna grab a barrel he didn't pick for you. St. Elmo's, is that a place that they tickle you? No, it's... God damn it. <laughs> it's, a, it's, an ex- it's an ex... No, it's a steakhouse, damn it. <laughs> yeah, it was an ex- it's an expensive take steakhouse that was cool to go to like 25 years ago. Yeah, let's go get kicked out of it. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm down for that, man. It really wasn't that funny, guys. <laughs> no, because... Oh, Adam's response was the best part. I didn't get it at first. I thought he was seriously confused, and then it clicked. Oh, he's pretty sharp, man. I'm running on my uh, my background apps right now. Oh man! Oh man! Damn, dude. So Ben, you you, uh, you might be able to make it work. Um, it's possible. I have to see. I, I, you know, I told you about that thing, so I got to talk. I got to, you know, see where the headspace is at and all, and uh, yep, we got you. then figure out logistics. And I don't know, go to Walmart. I don't know, we'll figure it out. All right. Well, at least you'll be close by, regardless. Fairly close, anyway. Whatever that thing is, I hope it's all right, man. It's not, but that's life. Yeah. Wait, is it what you messaged me about, Ben, a while ago? I have no idea. It, it's just not something I can make public on YouTube. Yeah, yet. yeah, it'll, yeah. It, it'll come out. <clears throat> yeah. In time. Pretty certain, I know. But uh, what are you transitioning, Ben? <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly, I wish that was. I wish that would be better. You news, so. Full Jerry Garcia. <laughs> but your own band. Honest, honestly, that would be far better news. So <clears throat> he's trying to make you feel better. Keep keep digging, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> whatever whatever it is, I hope it uh, everything turns out for the best. Yeah, <clears throat> that pray so. Giveaway ticker. Oh, life always has. Well, life throws well, challenges, and you just gotta like I don't know. Yep, indeed. So, sometimes it just sucks. so what? I, that, I guess that's part of the problem is too. I don't know what all your plans are when you're coming into town. What you know. What all is happening? There's I'm a... not coming, Ben, so there you go. Sure. Why not? Yeah, me neither. Yeah, sure. me either. Vic sure. You just got home, Vic. I know. I'm flying in. Uh, I don't know what time I land, but... We all get there Thursday. Yeah. We all get there Thursday. I think we're trying to get there Thursday midday, like around lunch, like Ooh. one or so. Nope. And the pick is Friday. Friday. Thursday. Yeah. Pick is Friday. I, I land at twelve fifty. <laughs> yeah, I'm at ten a.m. Um, Kelsey's at ten. Well, right. So, be- what all are you doing after the pick, though? Because you're like there for like another day or two. Or conquer yes. the world, Pinky. That Friday, we'll probably mm-hmm. do something back at the house again. I'm pretty sure yes. I heard the AA meeting there. Yeah. The the answer is sleep. <laughs> But <laughs> good. Saturday, we're spending a day at Hard Truth. Ah. Oh. I didn't toys. know that part. Shit, I'm going to book my flight now. Yeah, I was going to say, Darrell, <laughs> how about getting some of that chocolate malted rye, buddy, for me? <laughs> yeah, for you. Yeah, you can have all of it. I'm not touching it. Yeah, he's not a Caramel malted? That caramel, yeah. 
the batch two right. they'll have too, which is killer from what Jeff says over the first one. I don't know. I, I spent like four hundred dollars on two bottles today, so I don't know what I'm buying Holy anymore. Shit. Would you, Care would to you tell buy? us what you bought, man? Uh, Luxro twelve year. That's actually fourteen year. Yes, double barrel. Yeah, I actually Holy got to try that the other night for the first time. Did it suck? It was amazing. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> I've wanted that yeah. for a long time. And then so, today did the uh, you do bourbon at Heaven Hill and did a uh, oh, nine yes. year, um, forty nine percent corn, fifty one percent malt, Kentucky oh, the- malt. Select stock. Seven Hill Select Stocks. Select Stock, I mean, yeah. Hell yeah. Select Stocks have been for this month. Last month was the weeded, which everybody was going nuts. It was, it was like yeah. A- this this one people aren't going nuts for, but it was still so different from everything else. Mm-hmm. You know, the, even though it was double the price, it was just like, man, I'm here. So I'm here. Select you're stock. you're oh. getting offered a Select Stock. How do you not take the Select Stock? Right. You know? Ours wasn't good. We didn't pick it. Ours was not great. Uh-huh. Yeah. It was all malt. I think it was 100% malt. Yeah. It, was a, it was a malt whiskey. It was very real. If it wasn't. Yeah. So this, this was 49% corn, 51% malt. So it was. Yeah. This was this was all malt and it was young. Very yeah. young. No, this well, was nine nine year. So it was. Ours was I mean, like it wasn't seven. old. It tasted super young. Those yeah. exceptional series were amazing, though. Of the yes. supposedly Heaven Hill malt. This one. Yeah, wins. but that's a different ma- that's a different mash bill too. Hmm. Yeah, this one wasn't good. Uh, you know what? It was there, so I did it because yeah, it was there, so I did it. Um, well, and if it was better than the others, mine as yeah. well. Yep. Yeah. Uh, then, geez, that was like a week ago already. I picked up those other expensive bottles. Oh yeah. I don't know. <laughs> That's is, uh, Bam, what, what all did you pick from uh, Backbone? I know I know two of them. I don't, I don't remember the third one though. Uh well which two do you remember? The uh, backstrap rum and the eight year. No, so we did a nine year MGP. Nine almost year. ten. Nine year almost ten year. And I'm just gonna say my group didn't pick my favorite barrel oh, of that batch. Oh. So when when I say I might have picked your barrel already, I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> you remember the barrel number? Of course I did. Uh, we'll I might even have I might even have a like, you know, a a uh, you know a bottle of it. But anyway. Um, <laughs> oh shit. Then uh, we did a. I forget if it's six years. I think it's a six year, finished in black strap rum. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And then a 16-year light whiskey. Mm. Oh, damn. Oh, you guys did a light whiskey? Wow. Huh. The nine-year got me intrigued. Mm. What was it, uh, it, it don't suck. Didn't y'all <laughs> almost pick a fourth? Yeah. Well, you know, another one of those nine years could happen. You know, the numbers may dwindle. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, you might want to get there. But either way, you know people, you know. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I can't. Um, oh, man. So is that Stay what their bourbon's up. up to now? Is nine years? He's gonna, yeah. Well, so he gets different lots, so it varies what he gets in, what's available, what's tasting good. It really varies. We tried a lot of finished stuff. Tried a lot of interesting stuff, a lot of good stuff, but you know. Yeah. I mean, everybody's everybody's favorite tonight was the the five year backbone <laughs> single barrel. Mm. Out of that that block. What I batch mean, number? Uh, twenty two. There you go. Yeah. No, Nolan. Nolan knows how to blend. He he he's yeah, not a uh, you know. I actually one of the cool Ooh. things I got to do was drink batch one. Um, is that Lance? The original. That's smoking. awesome. Literally the original batch. Hold on, let me let me zoom in. Yeah, right full now. screen Lance. Is that the Mall whiskeys? Yes, the exceptional series. Yeah. Junction. Nice. I've tasted that. That's great. Good oh, shit. Uh, is it twelve or thirteen? 
now. So. <laughs> Seventy-four. You're you're uh, you're, Lance, you're, muted, you're muted, buddy. I can't unmute you. That's on you. I'm just looking at all the parts. It's, uh, <laughs> it's thirteen seven. Nice. Damn! Holy you shit! Wear seven months. It's a purple. Acting it right now. Oh, good. No, the purple tops are behind his shoulder right there. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking yeah, at and the handy. No, that's not yeah, yeah. purple tops. And those, and those <laughs> V-tags. Looks like some handies, too. Yeah, Lance got some great bottles, man. <clears throat> hey, Darrell. Yes, do so me a favor. Send me, send me uh, an email with your uh, landlord's name. So I can fix that Dusty, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Tommy. Thank you. Fucking right. thank you. I'm going to send him some batteries. Is it 9 volt or double A? It's not yeah, a man. Man. Oh, so I just like I'm going thinking. live in six minutes, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. I gotta well, celebrate. Well, I gotta keep celebrating, bro. Um, he's, right, got 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 he's got difficult landlords. Yeah, I dropped the link on the chat already, so whoever wants oh, to join. Just, I thought you <laughs> what are you <laughs> celebrating? Later, guys. See you, crushed it. What's he celebrating? He, uh, he won, won tonight's uh, bracket, so ah, he kicked butt. He sucked down a lot of good stuff. Mm. You want a bracket? Is that what you said? 19 to 8. Is the basketball game over? Probably. Oh, yeah. shit. UConn won. UConn? Damn it. Yeah. No surprise. Peter B is going to be expected to win. Yeah. Mm. So it's, it's, there's two minutes left. It's 69 UConn, 56. Nice. Hey, I saw, that, I saw that guy the other day. What's up, William? Hey, William. Sure, sexy I, I, I drank Malort with that guy. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, and, and that, that woman should be fired. I'm sorry. Always, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gonna come have, have, have a good night. Uh, uh, believe me, I ruined that, yeah, that waitress's yeah. night. Maybe her week or month. Don't worry about it. <laughs> There's a sentence. I'm sorry. Any server that would serve my lord as a treat? Yeah. Sorry. She should be fine. messed up. I, I Will, I'm just saying you heard what I said to her, right? No, I did. <laughs> yeah, Will, Will came down to Indy to hang out and have uh, some drinks and a uh, bite. Nice. Sounds like a treat. That was awesome. Prison. Yeah, oh, well. You from Indy, Will? Yeah. I'll stop in the northeast corner. Um, Time-wise, time -wise. 40, 40 minutes from downtown. Okay. That's, Towards that's Anderson. Really cool. Yeah, so that was cool as hell. Will, mm -hmm. Will came through. Kind of. I'm I'm in between Anderson and uh, Indianapolis, so I'm okay. a little small port though. So. Yeah, we're staying in Indianapolis, aren't we? Mm -hmm. We are. Okay. Are you guys staying close to the? the um, <clears throat> excuse me, the Backbone Distillery, or you? I think it's like there? 20 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we're staying. Pretty cool, like worse the thing in the heart of downtown, but that's whoa, only whoa, whoa, there. whoa! You're that Big. far. You we're know you don't want to drive. We're gonna take Ubers. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say you know you don't want to drive there. Right? Yeah, oh, we're, yeah, no, yeah. we're gonna Uber. <laughs> we just couldn't find big Airbnbs down there. Yeah, we just couldn't find. We them. wanted one Airbnb for everybody. So. Yeah, <laughs> except me. How many, how many bathrooms does the Airbnb have? Shut that's, it. The, that's the real question. How many bathrooms? I think three. Four. Three or four? It's four. It's right. never enough. That'll be okay. Never enough. It's a lot of bathrooms. It's big, it's a big place. The place that's, is yeah, four is a good amount. Yeah. I piss outside as much as the dog does. Yeah, I'm not worried about this. <laughs> that's a really nice place. Though. Honestly, yeah, you, yeah, middle Tennessee, I'm worried about where I can take it better, better, Adam. That's all. Hmm. In yeah, Middle Tennessee, it probably smells better after pissing outside. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> so the, back, the backbone the where, where, they, where they actually do the blending, that's over on like the northwest corner of Indianapolis, but then they've got a tasting room downtown, right? No, yeah, it's no. all one location. Oh, you have a whole do you know box? where, yeah, Will, do you know where 8th Day Distilling is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, it's in the same, it's in the same essential giant structure. Okay, so they've moved it all downtown then. Okay. Yeah. It's a case of something. It's a case of static. Hey, Lance, are you boxing that, that those bottles up? Oh, shit. Oh. Whoops. No, you know what? Shut it off. I don't want to see his backside. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I do. 
Autos, give away bounce. Oh. Oh. Look at all those Parkers. You know what pissed me off the other day? I went into my local because I was looking to get some boxes to box some stuff up. I oh. shit you not, they had seven boxes, open boxes of Stag. Stag Jesus. Jr. Stag. And I'm like, yeah, where the fuck are these? They're not on the shelf. I'm call it baby Stag now. They're all in the fucking back room. Uh, Tom, 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 my local store had a bunch of extra bottles uh, for an event he's doing in May. Oh, and I, just, I just think there's just more bottles out there now. That's what oh, I think. there is. But they weren't on the shelf. They're holding them. They have one yeah. in their case where you got to use points. Anyway, they spent too much money there for them to. I think I think we're gonna dip and go congratulate Vic on his stream and then head to bed because we are tired. <laughs> I should probably yeah, I'll probably hop on the stream. And Katie, I don't think any of us need to do that. I think he's set with by himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he did rock it. Yeah. 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 Is he no, he's gonna knock himself in the eye if we give him any more attention. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. See y'all later. Yeah. Right. We'll catch y'all later. Thanks for having see us on. Bye, Tennessee. I'll see you guys yeah. next we'll see y'all. We'll see y'all in just a few days. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Maybe. Maybe. Well, I'll be talking to you. I'm sure tomorrow. So. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. If you maybe if if you answer. Yeah. Hey, hey. We had like <laughs> hardly any signal today. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh huh. See you later. Bye, guys. Bye, right. you guys. I'm sorry, Lance had to move that second bottle of stat box of stag over. <laughs> Lance, what do you got? What do you got back there? Hold on. It's hard to make it look good in the back. Are you flexing? He's a little flexing. bit. Hey, there, there we go. go. There we go. The Parker. New Hampshire liquor. And I can't tell what the other. We haven't is. done the raffle yet. The new. Oh, ride, those, double those are those little. They they have us chase them and then. You can get them for fifty bucks. You, you know those. You know that stuff tastes good, right? Yeah, I got I got ten <laughs> bottles open. It's fifty bucks a bottle in New Hampshire. Nine ninety nine in New Hampshire. What? Yeah, they do a draw. Parker's, Her Parker's Heritage is not fifty nine ninety nine. No, no, I'm not talking Parker's. I'm talking the stag. Stags, yeah. I only yeah. have four bottles of Parker's Heritage. The, the unopened. The the minor brothers who are up in Hampton Beach, they they openly piss on the New Hampshire State Liquor Store because only a certain number of people get known about these drops and they never get anything. Well, they what? put it they put it on YouTube and then you gotta chase them around. You gotta you gotta you gotta treat you gotta yeah, chase, chase the truck. Around, and literally they is what like, they're doing. It's they a drop like game. 30 cases in a store, and yeah. then they also drop like uh, E. H. Taylor small batch and stuff, and it's MSRP. It's sixty dollars a bottle, yeah. and you just grab as much as you want, and you run out. Yeah, they shouldn't even do that. But it's super no, it, it, It's ridiculous, <laughs> but it's like Indiana. But you have to know somebody here because it's all behind the counter. So you you, you walk in, and you're like, okay, yeah. but you know when the trucks show up. So you can always make friends but, with Lance, but that's a long proposition. So I have. I have a lot of it, but I honestly I give a lot of it away to my friends locally. We share it. I sell it to them for what I paid for it. It's oh, not yeah, a big man. deal. It's not a big deal. Yep. Because we're lucky enough to get it. Just wish you were closer than like an hour and a half, dude. Like yeah, we're you're in mass, it's like oh, yeah. half. it's not close. <laughs> yeah, Lance, Lance, you can host us. We'll come up there. Oh, shit. I'm not you can drive. <laughs> Your car drives itself, you've told me. It does, but that's 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 a long drive. <laughs> well, I think last I week I was at on. Yeah, Twitch. that's a really long drive. Shut it. I hate driving, Ben. <laughs> yeah, <and> ben <laughs> that's why I put Irene's. She's only an hour, dude, and I still don't even go. I, I, I drove. I drove a <laughs> Nissan Rogue over fourteen hours to get here. That's crazy. I can make my <laughs> Because before that you... backdrop, I had a bunch of papers piled up on my back. I, I on think my the back. Nissan Rogue drove Ben, truthfully. No, this one doesn't have lane assist. It has lane alert, but not lane assist. And it's a very weird rental car. Hmm. It's a, a very, it's a very weird. 
No, it's just weirdly optioned. It doesn't have a lot of the 2020. It doesn't have a lot of the the driving assist things you would expect on a 2023. If I could drive an hour and a half and be the Irene Tans, oh my god, I'd be there daily. <laughs> yeah, for me, it's more like three and a half, four hours. Yeah, I'm 50 minutes, and I make yeah. it go each way. John, how, how far away for you? Uh, hour and a half. Hour and 15. Okay. Oh, yeah. Shit, that's not bad. I Man, these guys work. cry about it. I drive that to work. Man. I mean, it's easier for me to get there because I'm not velcroed to my couch. Darrell, what are you in? You're in Rhode <laughs> Island, right? Yeah. So you're like an hour and a half from me. Yeah, it's I'm literally you're about an hour and Nick a half. Nick Sexton's out of our uh, I'm I'm in Rainham, so like right off of 495. Yeah, I'm on the other end of 495. I know you are. So it's like a 12 and a half hour drive for me to get to Irene's. But but Dan oh. but Dan's gonna come up to New England and visit us all. Yeah. No, he isn't. I am. No, you're not. He wants I to go am. skiing. It's gonna be the winter though. Yeah, you're not if you're gonna go and drive. You're not driving. I'm not driving. You, you know that I'm not driving. I'll fly. I won't drive. We'll give you rides wherever you need to go. Well, good luck. You're not flying anywhere within an hour. No. Maybe within two. Three hours, easy. Well, I got yeah. a I got a place in Maine, forty five minutes from Sunday River, which is a ski resort. Hmm. Why don't we plan a bottle share up there? <laughs> Have at it any time in the winter, no problem. Yeah, the oh, only God. problem is getting there. <laughs> you, I would guys. go back to Maine in a heartbeat. It's two hours from me. My the house I have in Maine is an hour and thirty minutes from me. So what town is it in? It's in Poland. Poland, Poland. Maine. Just sounds far. I'm in it Poland, guys. <laughs> I hear I hear I hear they have a spring there. Yeah. What Poland, it means Poland to Springs Maine. is the next town over. Correct. They sell right. a lot of water. Yeah. A lot of water. water. Wow, yeah. there it is. There it is. Way to represent Lance. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. Uh, I, mean, I talked to I talked to Shauna about it about trying to make a, a trip on, to the Northeast at some point. But um, you did, yeah. <clears throat> um, just a matter of trying to get shit together and get up there. So, yeah, um, yeah I, I've, been, I've been meaning to. It's just a matter of trying to get everything together. So. It's just, it's pretty close to work. me. She's like 25 minutes from you. Yeah, she, she, Beverly she lives in Danvers, I think, which is like 25 minutes from me. Beverly, right. Beverly, Beverly, which is next to Danvers. So, like 20, 25, 30 minutes. Okay, yeah. it's a good time, so, Moby, man. It's all right, Lance. You know, you're straight from the barrel sample. I'm gonna give it to her and then I'm gonna have her mule it up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan, anything you need, you tell me. I'll send it to you. It's all mm-hmm. one day. I got I got so many store picks, and I'm a Barrel King fanboy. Yeah, I see your T-shirt says Barrel King on it. I love Barrel King. I love it. Yeah. yeah some of the most recent stuff, it's been crazy from them. I got a buddy up in Andover I got to visit, so maybe I'll just see if I can connect with you. Andover is two towns over from me. Yeah. All right, Vic, I'll see you, brother. He's a big Scotch guy, but um, sometimes I go golfing. And sometimes I see him and his wife and kids. So that's really cool. Guys, I, I have to be up insanely early. Um, I hate to cut it short, man, but I gotta hop off here. I love I love y'all, man. Thank y'all for for hopping on here. Much appreciated. Yeah. Um, Thanks for streaming. Well, I'll see you soon, buddy. Uh, Benjamin. Hope to see days. you soon. As well. Safe travels. We'll talk. Yeah, buddy. We'll talk. Let me, let me hey. know what's going on. Uh, Jeff, hey, thank you for everything. Uh, yeah. William, cheers, brother. Good to see you. Lance, uh, I'll be talking to you soon. I'm going to message you on uh, Patreon. Anytime. Uh, cheers, y'all. Love you guys. Later. Be good. Cheers, see you. Bye-bye.